fantastic day today. Man, I have just been playing random musics here and just leaving them on my game. Good Lord. That's okay. I'm here right now with you. How's everyone doing today? Uh, Dark Cave! <laughs> That's the one. Let me go ahead and unmute. Tell everyone I'm unmuting. And we'll get into the game. Man, Hello. I ate... Hello! Hello, everyone. Like a whole thing... How oh. y'all doing? Hey. Hello. Hi. Hello. I've got to, once again, adjust everyone's audio, because Discord can't decide how loud everyone should be. Don't also, before yes. I was so rudely interrupted oh my yes, apologies I did after you a whole container of hamburger helper to myself this morning I and now i'm hungry helper. again anyways oh continue brit no oh, thank you so much uh yo that's awesome i actually had hamburger helper a few days ago i don't know what the hamburger helper is uh what? i can't even begin to tell you what it is uh if you, you don't ever know. had hammy helpy it's no. uh well old hammy helpy <laughs> I love hammy healthy. Imagine a box filled with cheese powder and hard noodles like pasta and meat. And basically you just you brown some ground beef. It doesn't come with the ground beef. That's why it's called hamburger helper. You have to get that on your own. Mm -hmm. And then you you cook the meat and then you add milk, water, the cheese powder and the noodles. And then you just cook it all for like 15 minutes in the same pot. Boom. Hamburger healthy. It helps the ha that's why they, it helps the hamburger meat. That's why they yes. call it hamburger helper. It's a hamburger with, with I like the Velveeta and cheese. It's just yeah. it's just mac and cheese. It's a box mac of mac and cheese and, cheese. and a hamburger. <laughs> well, it but doesn't come better. with hamburger. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't come with meat. Wait, so, yeah. okay, so it's mac and hamburger. cheese. You could eat hamburger helper without the hamburger, and it would just be yeah. A but I mean, it's, like it's it, different. It, 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 it wouldn't taste like mac and cheese. It'd be weird mac and cheese. Yeah. It's a different type of cheese. Yeah. Like yeah. There's a Velveeta Hamby, hamburger helper. and <laughs> You were it. about to say Hamby helper and you didn't want to say it. <laughs> uh, I think I was just saying words in my head. Mm, I, liked ha I like Hamby helper. Yeah, I don't think hamburgers need the help. No. Yeah, they're already dead. Also, oh, hi, Brett. <laughs> Hello. We start our long relationship of seeing each other three times a week now. Boy, I'm so excited. God, that I must hate suck, you. man. Sigh. <laughs> Yo, she invited herself into one of my campaigns. I couldn't. Okay, I it. didn't invite myself. That Naomi like insisted. No, like Naomi it. insisted I join. Uh -huh, so uh -huh, you can blame uh -huh. Naomi. Uh, I'm just fucking. So you're the DM. Them. Just kill off all of their. Characters. I'm just. <laughs> I'm just fucking around. No, Naomi really wanted to get the the old crew back together and i said you know what it's it, this i'm a, i was okay with five a uh, six person would have been optional so i was okay with summer joining that like one we've known each other for like seven years so no, of course it's, it's like we must get the band back together I, it's it's just it's it's i feel like it's like i feel like it's very easy just to poke fun and just be like i can't believe summer invited herself into one of my games unbelievable i can't I believe, believe i did this <laughs> But no, I can't believe I'm winning in D&D. I'm uh, I'm damning whoops in summer twice a week now, which is a honestly a blessing because they're Ow. both wonderful people uh, in summer three times a week. Um, the blessing becomes a little more challenging, but it's still a blessing uh, in my <laughs> heart and in my mind. So. Don't worry, you'll hate me on Thursday. You haven't heard the character voice yet. Uh, I mean, it's it's I feel I. It'd be pretty impressive. You'd have your voice. It would have to be very. It would be very impressive if you do a voice that annoys me because I feel like I've seen it all at this point in time. Oh, is this not annoying enough? No, I can turn no. it up. No. Well, I also appreciate that Summer made meth cannon in IO, so now I have to do something about that. What is I mean, meth? What is meth in IO? And scratch. Dude, the face. the dudes that were cracking all of the eggs near her were talking about meth, so she just thinks that meth is like food or something. Gotcha. Gotcha. Okay. So I have Some to. Some are just planning on using their actual voice next character. I don't get it. <laughs> All right. Thanks, sure for I love you a lot, man. <laughs> <laughs> that was a laugh. That was a hearty laugh. Woom. All right. Yes, we're here. All right. So I'm also trying to get my 
my voice mod working because for some reason it doesn't want to work. I can't do fancy voices. Uh, hey, can I can I can I test something with you guys? Sure. It, no, it's fine. Is my voice modded when I do this? Yes. Yeah. All right, perfect. Then I won't use. You mean you want just stood in a church? No, I just yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is my this is my DM this is uh this is my DM room. Voice. Yeah, this is this is where I DM in in my in my chambers, in my dungeon mastering chambers. It's no, not very soundproofed. I know. I uh it's expensive, man. All right. Let me get over here. Let me turn on a fan because I'm already getting that back is Oh. All right. So, Welcome back to Hellscape, everyone. You survived a session. We'll see if you survive another one. Um, but I think you guys are gonna be fine, honestly. Oh yeah, leave that, it. That's right. I, I just do. need to stop Whoops's leg from falling off. I mean, he doesn't have My leg. <laughs> that, that's he's all. got a while till then. Yeah, he's fine. He hasn't needed healed yet. All right, just gonna go ahead and mark a couple of things. All right, can I roll a d20 and on a one I die of old age? Like right there? <laughs> Grandma, right. no! Yeah, do it. Do you have, a, do you have another character ready? I'll do it. No. I'll, I'll, yeah, do it. Oh. <laughs> if I die, I'm probably I'm probably gonna hardcore myself out. I get I get you, man. Roll, roll the, roll the, which if you'd like to roll the d20, you're free to do that. Oh, if that's, if we're doing it, because I used no. to make this joke all the time with an old grandma I used to play. I, uh, I mean, I'd, I'd be curious. I'd, I'd be curious. Uh, you, I don't think you die. You just have a, a mild stroke. Because I don't. Oh, thank God. God, that was. Only so I the one in that, and I was like. <laughs> You're only halfway to dying right now. What a, what a, what a fucking rush, dude. You know what I mean? Just like. I'm lucky it. But summer, it doesn't affect you. It affects my mentality. <laughs> Uh, let me get you guys over there. There it's, we it's are. Fine. I have I have advantage on dying from old age. Epic. So, uh, let's go ahead and begin. So last session, you guys arrived over into a what appears to be a sort of like tent camp that is surrounding uh, this circular obsidian wall surrounding a building, a sort of obelisk hovering uh, beyond that wall with a a diamond shaped obelisk <sighs> with a curved Torny top. Town. Uh, yeah, uh, you arrive into a town, uh, filled with Astari and Aurorin, um, elderly as well as invalids. Uh, you learn to discover that this place was, uh, named the Village of Cowards, uh, because these were once denizens of those that were behind the wall, who serviced, uh, an organization known as the Order of the Horn. Uh, they, uh, were meant to essentially perish or die because they were no longer able to serve the order, uh, but instead retreated from the walls, creating their own sort of, uh, makeshift town surrounding, uh, this, uh, probably one thriving society that you have seen in the hellscape. You have arrived here in the hopes of prospect of food as your ability to survive, uh, amongst... Uh, the hellscape and finding ways to gather fruit has become very scarce and difficult. Uh, speaking with a couple of the denizens, the citizens of these this place, uh, you've learned of a couple of sources of food, uh, including uh, being granted entry, potentially, in a few days, uh, behind the walls uh, with a from a mammoth guard that uh, Deborah cast suggestion and, su and successfully cast suggestion on, so he's going to look to see if he can get you guys uh, inside uh, as visitors of the city. Uh, in the meanwhile, though, you still need a source of food now. Uh, after interrogating a Aurorin, or I'm sorry, an Astari, with a little bit of shifty eyes, um, the Astari decides that you are not typical brutes or or thugs, or and has decided to invite you into his enclave. Uh, where he has started um, a, not him, uh, where he is a part of a gathering uh, that worships a concept called the memory. Taking you within the depths of a uh, secret cave underneath the city, uh, you guys have wandered around while the Astari themselves seems to be 
lost within the cavern. Retreating back, uh, he, your lights immediately was snuffed out as a wandering creature within the, the, the caverns uh, had been eating and devouring all sources of light. Uh, facing off against the fearsome foe, uh, you managed to successfully defeat the creature uh, with an injury uh, inflicted upon uh, Mock. Upon Mock. Uh, unfortunately uh, for the young Astari, uh, they did not survive the battle. Their mind racked with the psychic energies that this creature had. Uh, and upon defeating the creature and studying it more, uh, I believe Geth discovered that this was once a humanoid that had been drastically altered by the Black Star. A uh, mysterious Ish. force that the uh, that Geth is from, uh, the, that the Kindled is from, um, that, ha that essentially has all aspects of time and reality. It is everything and nothing within one place. And if there are creatures that have been altered from it outside of the Kindled, uh, something grave is happening over here. So... <clears throat> with that uh that is where we last ended off you are now in the middle of the this cavern uh where the astari was guiding you uh from the trap that you had seen that um that mock tackled their way through uh you can understand that the cavern itself is a friendly reminder uh is trapped uh to deter intruders um from wandering around to enter the astari enclave you're currently in the middle of the cave. Your light source, I believe, currently is Geth themselves, who is illuminating Ish. themselves with the Black Star Fire. Uh, you oh. have you have the body of the Light Eater as well as the Astari, which I believe you were keeping so that if you did find this Astari Enclave, uh, you would be able to prove that you are not, you did not kill the Astari, that you could actually tell your tale and hopefully will give you a source of power. Uh, those that have the clock on, I believe are under the effects of haste, which will probably be expiring here soon. Uh, the shield, I believe is the shield of, uh, of faith, which should also be expiring here soon. Uh, and uh, how long, and oh, those are bless. How long does uh, yeah. bless last summer? It's a minute, those are gone. Uh, okay, all right, it's not, not a 10 minute thing. I think it's safe to assume we've been standing around for a minute now. Yeah. Yeah. Gone. Haste is also only a minute, so we can just clear it. Yeah, we'll go ahead and clear those. I was seeing if there anything was like a 10 minute thing. Uh, and for that, I would persist those buffs. But for a minute, I yeah, think the, those have definitely Shield of expired. Faith is the only 10 minute thing. Mm -hmm. Is Shield of Faith a 10 minute buff? Yes. It is. Hoggers. Hog. Well, you're going to go ahead. That. You're going to go ahead and keep that. That's what Faith and that, gets. Is you. that plus five AC or plus three? Two. 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 Oh, okay, it's just a shield. Got it. Yeah. Neither. Neither. It's shield of magic. Faith. Shield. It's shield of faith. <laughs> it's, yeah. a sh it's a shield of faith. Sorry, I don't know why I repeated really that. <laughs> so yeah, exactly. So with that, the session, uh, session two, now begins. You've survived one session within the hellscape. Uh, things will now become a little bit more dicier as a as this was a lovely introduction into what that what sort of things you'll be diving into. You are currently in the middle of these caverns. Uh, it is dark with your only source of light being Geth. If you have any additional questions you would like to ask me, feel free. Otherwise, you are free to do whatever you wish. It looks like we have no other questions. All right. Then with that, uh, do whatever it is you'd like. You're currently within the dark, the depth and darkness of the cave. I think the only one with dark vision is Deborah. Uh, everyone else will have to rely on Geth for light or Deborah's guidance. Yep, and uh, I believe we'll be following Geth because you can see things. Yeah, I have very high perception, okay. but I think I need to investigate for traps. That so is I think when we correct. Left off, I had I had shouldered the the body of the Astari guy. Yes, you have. Right, and uh, or was some... it of? the the ghost as well or uh, the enemy one i believe I one of yeah let me go and drag this this fella out i don't know where the hell he went uh one of you has the body of the oh god yeah that's right i think this isn't like the arm snapped off still in the pit because this thing yeah. is dried and decrepit so you have like the body sans arm of this 
of the light mm-hmm. eater. Mm-hmm. Who would like to uh, carry the light eater uh, with them? Those goes. I've got it, haven't I? All right. Yeah. Uh, I, I went ahead and moved it yeah, over there. Actually, it shows you on the map. I'm oh. holding this one. And oh, I, I, I just I just put it up there, so I, I just wanted uh, to make nice. sure. Okay. So with that, uh, I will go ahead and, and have them in your tow to make it easier for transport. Uh, each of you have a creature just hulked over your uh, over your your arm, your shoulder. All right. So with that, what do you all do? I would first like to every minute be casting resistance on myself as a cantrip while we're pursuing here. Okay. I will remember and that. Then we shall go. Jesus. I'm just gonna keep slapping guest ass with guidance as we walk for searching for traps. <laughs> Thank you, child. All right. Uh, Lead feel- the way, Shadow Boy. I am going. Okay, one second. Let me go ahead and make sure we're. Yep. It's damned cave. Uh, you are free to do any sort of investigation uh, whenever you'd like. Just feel free to let me know when you are would like to look for traps in an area. Well, I kind of want to constantly be looking for traps kind of oh. thing, because like okay. the way I look at it, it seems like it's in the open floor. So I don't want to be like, I see a new stretch of land. I investigate trap. Okay. Uh, so, uh, it'll slow your journey quite a bit, uh, but you are free to continuously, uh, investigate. I, I will allow you to roll one investigation. Um, let me go ahead and check real quick on something. I'm gonna pull out a torch and hold it with my trunk. All right. One moment, sorry. Have to, okay, there it is. Come back from this way. No, uh, so, we came back from this way. So uh, I will actually remind you where it was since it has been a week. Uh, you had originally, actually, does someone have survival? Right. Well, does someone have survival? Because it's very easy to get lost in these caves. I do. Go I do. On. All right, give me some survival checks. Ignore the initiative. I'm role. proficient. Oh my God. I have, I, have myself. I have a plus three. 20 plus three. All right. Go ahead and give me a survival. You can remember, you can select your token, uh, press the skill button, and you should be able to do that. Oh! Well, that works. All <laughs> right. So, Geth. Ploggers, Geth. Uh, I'm Geth. the leader now. All right. So, I don't know if you can see this. Uh, so, originally, if you'd like to go ahead and zoom out the map just a little bit. I know where we were originally. Watch. I can guesstimate it. All right, so you guys walked from here and then walked up there. And at one point in time, uh, the Astari uh, got lost uh, within he got lost a nook around here. And then decided to walk back over here. Uh, you are uncertain, though, if the Astari actually knew the direction that they were going or if they had been lost the entire time. Um, with a critical survival check, I will give you some more information. Mm. Uh, you do you do see that the dirt itself uh, actually treads uh, very commonly over over where in the direction that the Astari was uh, walking in the direction that you're he- heading however it hardly seems to be explored hmm okay I it was dark up best. there and there was another path if no one saw it I don't know if only I could I see it I did see it yeah we should maybe go back. Or are you lost too now? No, I just Good remembered. Heavens. I just remembered just something. Outrageous. <laughs> I light a torch. Do not worry. Oh yeah, let me go and get your torch on. Uh, Keep wh- in my steed. All right, so Vulcan will... I have to remember which, uh, which screen I'm using. Vulcan will light a torch. Let me go ahead and just... Your torch Come has on. been lit. Stay close. Lit. But, but don't touch. All right. At this point, I need an investigation check from Geth. As you continue to explore through traps. Mmm. Yeah. Delicious. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. With a critical, good. 
Wait, with I a, have guidance though, right? With a critical failure, it will always be a one, uh, no matter what guidance or anything is added to you. Critical failures are just that. Our pog champ. They are I big. aid him. Mm -hmm. Question uh, mark. Uh, a any sort of aid, guidance, anything like well, that. Well, no, I mean, wouldn't he have advantage if we're helping him? You would have to declare that you're aiding him um, before he rolls the investigation. Otherwise, I have okay. to accept the investigation. Sorry. All right. So with that, unfortunately, Geth, um, I will let you know your mind appears to be muddled a little bit as you continue to explore. Uh, your ability to investigate for traps will not be possible while you explore through these caverns. Can I tell my friends that? <laughs> you absolutely can if you'd like to let them know. I seem to be getting bad interference from that other black star denison. I do not know if I can investigate traps. God damn it, Geth! I'm sorry. Of course uh, you can. I no believe trust. in you. What no. if we destroy it? My mind is muddled. I don't think that will work. Maybe it Perhaps is the case. I should lead the way. Perhaps. <laughs> yes, brother! <laughs> At that point... I do an uh, investigation check? All right. Yep, you're free to investigate. Though I do remember the tracks. <laughs> <I> do. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Seems good. <laughs> all right. Continue your investigation. Uh, in, in time, as you continue your travels, um, I will allow you to do another investigation check. Uh, Geth themselves I, uh, are completely muddled. I should light another torch. Uh, if you would like to light a torch, I can I can uh, add yeah, I'll that do for that. you. All right, one moment, please. Uh, with that, <sighs> my torch has been lit. Mock's gonna like very expertly s sidle along the wall, mm -hmm. <laughs> like um, super sneaky, like. At, at, at that point, yeah, Mock continues to limp along as he leads the rest of your party. And begins to sidestep around the walls. I Not just, fear. Uh, I will lead the way. I would just be looking for those tracks mm -hmm. I saw earlier. Oh, yes, absolutely. So with your critical survival check, uh, you were able to guide everyone uh, to continue to follow through the cave. Nice. You continue to see that the um, the dirt around this cave has still continued to have the... Uh, has been treaded I'm by a variety pointing. of humanoids. I'm just going to be pointing mock to where the tr tracks are. Mm -hmm. Keep going this way. I uh, I will also let you Take know. Take close. I will also let you uh, know when there's a fork in the road where the, the tread goes. Thank you. This will allow you to uh, tr uh, track yourself through the cavern uh, as well as get yourself back if you do decide to do so. All right. Breadcrumbs. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. You continue to travel. Uh, nothing appears to be amiss. May I do another investigation check, perhaps? Uh, I will let you know when you're able to do another one. Okay. I have got Secret you. Elephant man. <laughs> so you just continue Secret to like. Secret tunnel. Oh. Secret tunnel. So as General. you as you continue to cross over here, Geth, you will see that the tread uh, continues in this direction. You do also recall that the Astari went up here uh, to reach to a dead end before trying to get their way back. Um, this is where the tread goes. I will also allow another investigation check uh, by Mock at this point. I sniff with my snoot. Mm. Remember, if you want to aid him, do it before he rolls. This is true. All right. Uh, you make it to me. roll. I will let you know. Nothing? You see, well, I will let you know if you see any traps okay. or not. Currently, you see nothing. As Let's you can continue, continue uh, down behind this us. Way. Hmm? Uh, We've I'm, got it. Uh, I'm sorry, Vulcan. Is there, can I, is there anything behind us? Maybe any sounds or anything? Or is it just eerie silence? Uh, it's just an eerie silence that weighs heavy upon the cave. Uh, you don't hear anything with your passive perception. Uh, you're free to roll I an active hear one. Stuff yeah. My passive, because I am goaded. You ain't hearing shit, man, all right? You couldn't you roll a two. No, that's in my investigation. Perception is different. 
true. Uh, you continue you, to you roll. hear with your eyes. No, I hear with my ears, bitch. Exactly. The tread oh, continues. Stay close, everyone. The tread yes. continues in this direction. Are they treading along the walls here or down here? Or just in the middle? Mm, uh, you see just a general tread, uh, just a, in general. Um, but it does okay. seem to be heavy across uh, uh, around the walls. Okay. Mm -hmm. Which I'll let you know what you see. Yes, good. Keep walking in that direction. <laughs> yes, good. Very good. Seems good to me. All right. As you have not died yet. Elephant man. As you continue to travel around the caves, uh, you spot a pit trap uh, that is hidden over here with your investigation. Ah. I could spy that disturbed dirt anywhere after I went through that last one. Keen eyes, brother. Be Where? careful, everybody. The tread continues he'll, to walk around it. it. I will follow the tread. Let us cross the path. As you continue to walk around the tread. Hmm. Uh, Geth, what is your passive perception? It should be 24 or 5. Oh, my. Uh... So, Geth, you hear footsteps behind you. I hear something behind me. Oh, that's me, dear. No, something <laughs> further beyond. Well, that's me! Maybe we should hide around this rock and see who comes. Would you I'm sure on? they won't see the torches or hear our voices in this <laughs> cave. Well, then everyone snuff their torches. The and I shall turn off my light. The footsteps stop. Well, they are no longer coming. You cowered behind us. We know you're there. Show yourself. Show yourself. Oh my God. The footsteps retreat. <laughs> Miles well, start huffing and puffing and like <laughs> doing the the foot thing where he's like stamping a little bit. Yeah. I scamper like mice, brother. If I had to guess, it might have been someone that is trying to go to this enclave. There's too much testosterone in this cave for me, guys. Oh, they well, can meet us there. Hurry Let's on. continue on. Maybe we should have told him about his dead friend. Oh my god. Oh, he'll find out when he gets there. Elder, I will hold the rear. Uh, because of your successful investigation, as well as the survival check, uh, that Geth gave to see the tre the treads and the tracks. Um, I will continue to show pit traps as you continue your exploration through the caverns. Sick. Oh, Geth, you hear the footsteps continue to follow, this time from a distance. They come, but less close. Keep an eye out, brother. I could go and see who it is. Another Maybe. pitfall! Eye, brother. There, be careful. I see the treads did not go there. Mm -hmm. The footsteps continue to follow. Slowly, trying to be quieter, but Geth, your keen perception, as Prevet has, has, uh, has they, they can't hide from your perception, essentially, at this point. <laughs> Which I'll way does the path know. lead? The path leads this way. It goes down yonder. Mm. Very Cut well. Be careful. The middle. All right. As you continue to patrol at this point, uh, following the treads, you will. Oh, oh! Whoops! Whoopsies! Whoops! Whoopsies! Whoops! Upsie! Whoopsies! <laughs> whoopsies! Whoopsie! Whoopsies! Uh, you will spot uh over to the south. A wooden structure of some kind. Mm. Man, uh, humanoid made. Hmm. There that is must be the outpost. There is mm. a door uh, blocking your way. Knock on the door. Mock will simply walk up to the door and knock, knock, knock. You hear a scatter behind the door. 
Now, now, we have your friend out here. He's not in good shape, but we brought him to you. We are friends. Kind of you hear a muffled voice from behind the door. Uh, who are you? State your business. I'll look over to Deborah. <laughs> I don't fucking know. <laughs> All right. We are but weary travelers. Something strange has happened in this cave, and we want to know that you're all right as well. We mean you no harm. You kind of hear, uh... <laughs> God, Geth. <laughs> Geth, you can hear from behind the door them just discussing what needs to be done. Um, one of them says, stay armed. And the, oh, uh, we mean you no harm. Your friend told us about you. Unfortunately, he met his demise to this creature on my friend's back. Vulcan, come please. Vulcan, Vulcan's just doing? staring into the dark behind them. <laughs> torch rays. Vulcan, you can't see the dark. Come out here, you coward! <laughs> I will tell you when he approaches. Um, <laughs> as, as you scream out into the darkness, come out here you coward the footsteps stop and retreat once again you made him run away again oh. you're very bad at picking fights Gath you hear from behind the door should we get the elder yes you should <laughs> they immediately <laughs> they immediately <laughs> shut up at that point and you just hear uh um uh like, we had a guide that was going to tell us about your cult to the thing called the memory or something, but then we got attacked while we were in here and he was showing us the way, and honestly, we don't know what to do, so can you just, like, come take the body or something? What's that insufferable voice you hear from behind the door? It's in my mind. It is mind. a child of the ground. Child. They, they seem bewildered and confused. Just, but, That's my grand potato. <laughs> Uh, yes, we found it a few weeks ago. Excellent at riling our foes. My little, little spud. I'm Grandma's little spud. And I have a... No, no I shouldn't say that. <laughs> the door uh, cracks open a little bit. Um, there you see, um, from behind an Astari, three other armed Astaris holding up weapons. Uh, this one holds up a sword and shield and walks up to the front to see more of who is over here. When, when the door opens, Mock just steps up right in the way with the dead body on his shoulder, and he goes, Oh, finally! <laughs> so, do you, uh, as, as this one tries to block your way, do you push by them? No, or I think he's you, just trying to show no, them. No, I'm, I'm, just, I'm just stepping right here, uh, like, in oh, front. okay, okay, right I'm here. just making sure, yeah, I'm just, I just wanted to clarify. Uh, yeah, he sees the arb and is, he just looks... And he, he, he's just going to take the body of the, the guide and just, like, hold it out to him. <laughs> just, like, very nonchalantly. Uh, uh, Deborah will try and uh, make this less socially awkward and say, We're not sure if he's gone. You may yet be able to save him. Uh, he drops his sword and shield and grabs the body, and you just see him walk back inside, closing the door behind him. And you just hear them. Uh, just You hear the, the, the thud of the body. <laughs> And you just hear, it's like, what happened? I don't know. What, did they do this? Why would why would enemies bring a dead body to us, especially one of our kind? No, we did not it. Oh, right. It. it was Mark the culture. Mark will hand the second body to Mark. <laughs> yeah, he'll grab the second body and then just drop it on the ground. This vile being injured your friend. The door opens just drop once it on again. the ground in front of him. He looks down, and a, you just not see... Fear. We have dispatched it. He looks down at the body, uh, visibly shocked at what he's looking at. And he looks up at the five of you and sees you not bracing yourself for combat or arming yourself or preparing for an invasion. What's up, dude? I'm here for the cult. <laughs> he blinks you at know the small this child. Creature? He nods. Have you D dealt with it many times before? He nods again. This thing wanders the caverns, has taken many of our brethren. You Is mean to there many more? He shrugs, uncertain. 
We don't, we haven't had the chance to investigate the area. When we well, see the light snuff out, we go in the opposite direction. You might need to investigate or have us because you are in grave danger. Potentially. This is not the best place to live. He looks around and he says, if you're willing to disarm yourselves at the front door, we will permit you entry. You can Death speak will to just our hold elder. up his, his arms and be like, I have no weapons. Yes, same. He specifically looks at the two Marimaraths. I just have a shield. <laughs> <laughs> he looks at your shield and then he's <laughs> and then he looks over at a uh, Vulcan. What? Are you willing to leave your weapons at the front door? Fuck no! <laughs> just at Michael that... just like nodders in approval, like, yeah. <laughs> Kill him. She takes a sigh and a reluctant of what to do. Mm. At Perhaps we'll outside. wait outside. We We're can, not uh... very good at conversation anyway. Uh, hmm. I'm gonna make a roll. Okay. Um, the Astari will shake his head and say, if these creatures are wandering through the caverns, you're not safe out here. In fact, your very presence might bring more this way. Well, that's Come. why you should let us in. And that and with that, weapons. Come inside quickly, but we've got our eye on you. Don't worry, we won't hurt anybody. Probably. <laughs> that's great. But uh, they're asking for it. All right, so I am going to take you to a new map. Okay. Sick. Wicked. Augers, dude. Hold on. Where did? Where did? Where did everyone? Oh, what the? Where did? Boop, 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 boop. So I have a I, confession boop, 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 boop. to make. I cast fireball. <laughs> oh no, dude! I explode, <laughs> dude! <laughs> Why would you do that? <laughs> They're all in one place, ready to burn. <laughs> Grab on my flesh, no! <laughs> Why so would... this is an evil campaign. Why would you do that? I'm just fine. Uh, yeah, no. All right, I shall. Take you over as you enter the base itself. Uh, the area itself seems to be well manufactured. Walls made of wood uh, furnish uh, the side of the caverns. As you begin to step on the hardwood uh, planks that they have used of the uh, ashen trees up above the surface. As you walk in, uh, you are surrounded by Astari armed with weapons. Uh, they don't seem to be aggressive, but taking more of a defensive stance in case you attempt or try something. Uh, this one will walk up. Can't uh, will... see anything. Uh, it's all black. Why is it all black for you? Uh, that's no. weird. Oh, you know why? It's because you're probably looking Fair at the in its the feelings. Map. Yeah, <laughs> I'm listening to Juice World. Hold on one second. <laughs> Hold on one second. Rough day. Now can you see? I get these lucid dreams. Yeah, I can see now. Okay, yeah, you were looking at a different part of the map. Wicked. Ep epic. All right. So as you as you walk inside, um, this one will step back, uh, trending to his brethren. Let me go and grab that body real quick. Uh, looking at his body, continuing. They also bring in the dead light eater, kind of tossing it and investigating it further of what this creature potentially could be. Uh, this one looks up to you. And states, wait here for the elder. He'll want to know more of your adventures and how you've got here. And specifically well, the fate of poor Uke. His mind was shattered. He just opens his mouth and says, uh, that's exactly what these creatures have done to many of our brethren. You're fortunate See, to have survived. We mean no harm. Ooh, rocks! That is Your... yet to be seen. Uh, they well, they begin to look over at the young potato ling as 
they wander off. You said rats as you're looking over at the rock. No, no rocks. rocks. He's oh, picking rocks. up rocks because I used a lot of rocks when I was throwing stones. Oh, got you. Uh, it is at this point, walking in onto the scene, uh, you will see a very strong Astari. Well-fed and fit. In fact, all the Astari here seem to be well-fed. Uh, but this one uh, seems to show a strength of, of, of might. Hmm. He walks forward over and eyes over at the Mammoraths and then looks over at the, the Aurorin, the Cosmonite, and finally the Kindle. As he walks in, uh, looking at everyone. Who are you? He barks. Where did you come from? Are you from the Horn? He appears no. to be we... bright and a sheen, a great sword on his back. We have come from the Far East, traveling in search of nourishment. I am Mockberg. <laughs> Good to make your acquaintance. That's Mockberg. <laughs> he uh, will give a nod to you, uh, not offering a hand of, of friendship or anything of that sort. Look set. at these biceps. <laughs> Are you he'll staring at a... the elder? <laughs> yeah, he'll gi he'll give him a, a good a good shake. A good shake at the the biceps. No, like a handshake. Oh, okay. Like he offers a hand. Uh, the elder uh, does not return one uh, at first, and then hesitantly grasps onto your to your hoof, uh, shaking it a little bit, but a little hesitantly. Uh, you can mm, tell. You can weak tell. Weak grip. I could <laughs> beat you in a fight. <laughs> that is yet to be seen. So. You say you come from the east, so you're not from the the Order of the Horn. You're not from behind the walls. Oh, Ty no, we know nothing of these walls from where we come. Hmm. Typically, the Memrath is part of the Order of the Horn. That is the only reason why I question it, but you do not seem to be like them. I can already tell you're seasoned in adventure. You're not big and fat as them. Hmm. He just Your said dead that. friend brought us here. He looks over. Allow me to investigate poor Uke. He walks oh, up. Okay. Looking down at the body. He holds out his hand as a divine magic uh, radiates to sense any sort of life force from within poor Uke. With none, you see the individual give a frown. And he mind mutters, was it a mistake bringing them here? He stands up and kind of loosens his guard. He gives a nod to everyone else. Everyone also drops their weapons at this point. And the elder you... continues, thank you for bringing him back here. How may I aid you in your travels? Well, quick question before we get to that. Is there anyone from your tribe currently trying to come back? We have various members of our tribe that go up to the surface to learn more of what the Order is, do has, is doing currently. Why is, why, why is that? I sent someone in the cave following us, but too afraid of my friend Vulcan calling him a coward. Hmm. Just making sure it's not a threat. Uh, he nods over to two of the uh, the Astari and asks them, to, and just, just states, it might be one of our brethren, but just in case, watch the door and keep an eye out for any intruders. Thank you for letting us know. You're until, welcome. And he'll, uh, he'll nod over uh, to, to you all. You are... Unlike anyone else from the surface, you don't seem to be. Mm. He then looks back at the two Mammoraths. Shrugs. Yes. Um, you don't fight too much with aggression, but you do seem Language, to be. Language, dear. <laughs> oh, sorry, Grandma. <laughs> you do seem to have the bravado of the Mammoraths, but. The Mammoth that I'm used to have lost that bravado a, a long time ago, living in comfort. Indeed they have. It's about respect. And so far, I respect you. 
he opens his eyes and a smile uh, on his begrizzled face forms before he just yeah he gives a nod now oh. if it isn't too much trouble <laughs> I'll point to my leg we could use an area to rest you've earned it we've got plenty of bedding here are you hungry yes yes Oh my god! <laughs> Everyone <Yes>. in unison. <laughs> Tail nod. We have a food source here. We oh, keep... I know. We can keep. <laughs> he turns over to Gath. Gath is that annoying friend that just always <laughs> does. <laughs> like, just, uh, I'm I, an other. I'm an other world before. Creature, I know. I know. I love it. It's just like I, I know. read the manga. Yeah, I, uh, <laughs> I was on Reddit the other day. I'm aware of this. <laughs> <laughs> Get the Redditor. Holy shit. <laughs> um, and uh, he says, we can feed you. We can feed all of you. In fact, we can Thank probably you. provide you with uh, food that will last you for a while. If you're interested, I can tell you more of our tribe, what we do, and why we defected from the horn. Come this way. Uh, he will then walk past you all. Yeah, I'm interested in the cult. Well, cult is a bit of a hard word, a harsh word. I want to say food. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this we even one... know what a cult is, little one. I know enough. You really uh, you don't, don't want a cult. You want a family. <laughs> I want a cult. Uh. I think I want a cult. Uh, so, a couple of doors will now open up to you as they continue to guide. You see the Astari that is, um, the Elder is walking past, kind of looks at you with caution, but, uh, sort of falls into relief as the Elder seems to not be worried. Geth will wave at him as he goes past. As you walk in, you'll see bedding quite literally everywhere within the cavern. He nods and says, "None of it's claimed. You're free to you're free to rest wherever you wish. I will go ahead and give you some food." Ah! Ah! Mock will is... just like kick back on the <laughs> on the bed and put his leg up. Now, little one. All right, you big beautiful bastard. Let me see that leg. Oh my god. Um, the elder will continue. Well, the food itself is not is not flavorful. In fact, it's very bland. And uh, it probably is nothing like the surface food of ashen fruit. Uh, but it will keep your bellies full and give you the sustenance that you need to continue. Where is it that you get such food in the first place? Uh, the food grows plentiful here. It is a type of fungus. We blend it in with the water that we have tapped within the cavern walls. It allows us to extend the food source almost indefinitely. It's easy to manufacture and doesn't allow for an entire order of people to continue to tend to. It is in fact why we are all here, seeking freedom, given a choice, and not to serve underneath the horn. If you are interested, I'm more than willing to sh share it with you when you're ready. Do I look unprepared? Well, he looks over to your injured friend. I assume... He wouldn't listen to your stories anyway. Don't bother with him. Very well. Allow me to get you all well fed, and I will show you and, and well, tell you why we are all here. Uh, he will not let you all rest at that point and will continue to walk south. Oh, can he I ask him a question first? Wait. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, you're free to. <laughs> he turns around. Yes. Have you seen any of this one? And he'll point at himself. Hmm. He looks over at you. I... I'm sorry, I... I'm not familiar with your kind. What? He'll tilt his head. No. What? He shakes his head. What are you? We are kindled. And this one's name is Geth. I've heard of stories of you. Birth... It's built different, Geth. They don't get it. That's why I'll learn. Hmm. 
I have heard legends and stories of you, born from some sort of righteous fire, all-knowing and all-seeing. The horn what speaks is... highly of you. Do they? He nods. What is a legend? Hmm. Well, they, from my understanding, from the murmurs I hear from the nobles, as well, I suppose, as more devout servants of the horn, those bathed in the black fire are said to bring a, a second coming for those of the horn. A second coming of what? He shrugs. I'm uncertain. I, I never truly understand what exactly the horn's belief system was. But lots of mentions of second comings and a new chapter in life. A sort of paradise that all of the members of the Horde will ascend to. In fact, they state upon sacrificing the elderly and the invalid, those that cannot serve or work underneath them anymore, that they will ascend to this paradise. But there is a lot mentioned of black righteous fire, and you seem to be covered in it. Kindled, you say? Yes. Hmm. I would be cautious if you wish to wander around the surface. These individuals of the Horn may take additional notice and extra attention towards you. It may or may not be wanted. Thank you for this knowledge. Hmm. But you all are free to stay here as long as you wish. I would ask, though, that you assist us if we ever needed it. Sort of earn your keep here. But for now, I simply ask you to rest. Maybe listen to our story. Maybe allow us to give you, grant you the teachings of the memory. Of course. Hmm. Rest up. I shall bring food to you shortly. And he will walk to the south. How does a kindled even sleep? Uh they just Do they sleep? <laughs> they just they just meditate. Oh, okay. Yeah. Alright, I start fixing this dude's leg. Alright, so you this is how this is going to work. Uh you will require a medicine check to fix the leg. Um if you the Results can vary from you either fixing the injury, bending it completely, uh, mending it, uh, but allowing for time to heal, uh, not mending it, but allowing you to try again, or uh, potentially making it completely worse. But that is only if you botch the check altogether. And that would usually involve a critical failure. Hey, yo, anybody got medicine proficiency to assist me? No. Do you, do you need that? To assist? Uh, you would you need to be proficient in medicine to assist. That is that is correct. I never knew that. Nope. All yeah. right, just me. Sweet. I'm gonna guidance myself then. Okay. Um, that might this. that might also be a me thing. Uh, but when it comes to medicine checks, uh, ty uh typically what I like to do, especially in this hardcore campaign, you need to have a proficiency in it, so no one can just kind of go in and be like, "All right, here I go." Do 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 do. Try and mend things. So that's mm -hmm. just. That's just how this this one uh, this game works. <gasps> yeah, no, I like that. All right, to last with a twenty one, you're free 23. to twenty three. With twenty three, excuse me, uh, you successfully mend the wound. Fortunately, the injury itself was minor enough that uh, just basic medicine techniques uh, were able to patch the wound up fine. Uh, at this point, uh, mock your wound is healed, yeah. and you are no longer injured. You know, you know what this means, right? What? I get to hang on the tusk for five minutes. He squints. Fork. Fine. Yes! <laughs> so. She like uh, monkey bars on the horn and just swings back and forth then. <laughs> Monkey's been. Monkey dude. After some time, 
uh, the elder will return, uh, breaking uh, what appears to be wooden plates. They are feel they are filled with this variety of this reddish grayish mush. As she gives each of you a plate, and then uh, Geth will just absorb the plate and everything. Yeah, as you you will place your hand uh, over the matter. Uh, and it just kind of like evaporates into ash and within you, granting you sustenance. Thank Ooh. you kindly for your hospitality. He nods. Mock Thank just you. knocks it back in one bite, just opens mouth. The slimy, the, the slimy substance just goes down the back of your gullet. It is tart and earthy and does not taste good at all, but it is food. It is sustenance. And you feel your strength returning. So, the next day, after your long rest, you will not suffer any exhaustion, as now you have successfully eaten a proper meal. Mmm. Why is the plate under the mask and it just comes out completely clean? That works. You hear, the, you hear a slobbering sound from underneath the mask. As you remove the plate back. The elder will look I'm over. I'm afraid there isn't mushroom for flavor down here. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the elder chuckles a God, little bit. God, this really is hell. <laughs> the elder chuckles uh, a little bit uh, before he looks over at all of you and says, I know flavor it is not much and it gets worse as you continue to eat it, but it does provide you the sustenance that you need to to keep living, keep surviving. Ah. Food is food. Thank you, friend. Hmm. He nods. I don't taste. Well, then that is probably something that you should be thankful about. Would you like to hear my tale? And he kind of like sits back, resting over against the wall. The tale of our, our order. The gathering of the memory. Hmm. I would like to hear the tale of both orders. For everyone assumes immediately know what the horn is, but it's very confusing in this area. That's right, you aren't from this place. I apologize, we rarely get outsiders. He sighs a little bit before sitting back. Well, those that are fortunate enough to be born behind the walls belongs to the city of Horns. Specifically, it is a order of people that worship the strength and might but also uh, obliges by a power they call the Black Star they are an order of Mamorath and, and Minotaur they rule with brute strength and they allow at, well, at, the, at first they have allowed people born behind the walls a choice to essentially submit to the horn you see the soil from behind the walls, the earth itself, seems to be rich in some sort of foreign nutrients that allows them to grow ash root aplenty. The horn expects those behind the wall to work every day, day in and day out, harvesting the fruit for the order. Though everyone keeps half of the harvest, while the Order specifically gets the other half. In exchange, the Order provides a sort of protection from, well, outsiders like yourself, if anyone wished to try to invade. And everyone was able to live their, is able to live their life normally if they are not working. If people are injured or become too elderly to work, on the fields, they are ritually executed. Although they state it is a noble sacrifice to die without pain, to allow themselves to live a rich and full life and then to perish painlessly. Some of us have decided that that was not a life worth living. And as you saw from outside the walls, Many of them had retreated and run and escaped the boundaries of the walls and tried to create a life of themselves. 
so given the name Village of Cowards. Myself, along with a few of us, our Astari brethren, decided that this was not a life for us. So, before we became invalid or elderly, we decided to leave on our own volition and try to find a new source of, of food, a new source of freedom. And that is where we found upon these caves, exploring for any sort of nutrition. The caves itself was wrought with dangerous creatures which we have since killed. Although, as you can see, there are others that have eluded us, those holeless freaks, the ones that you've killed, have been very dangerous as they wander the cavernous halls. We decided to create an order for ourselves, and that is where we found it, these unusual fungi. Testing it and doing whatever we can, we've been able to extend its shelf life and found that it provides us with a nutrition. It is not as flavorful as the ash fruit up above, but it's something. And after this past year, we have begun to develop ways to continue to extend it. You see, we hope to invite individuals to join our following, join our order of the memory, and they won't be, have to be forced into, into servitude to manufacture food for the rest of their lives. We all need, need a small sect of a small order to work the mushrooms. We can provide food for everyone. We only ask that they put in something, a craft that they wish to do, whether it be architecture or manufacturing, blacksmithing. Is... Yeah, what the fuck? <laughs> How <laughs> is that? Go I, on. Hold on. Yeah, go I, on. Hold on. I changed my uh, one sec. I like, it sounded like she was belching what? a little. Yeah, I, I, I don't know. I did something with my mixer and I switched yeah, no. out something, but it... Oh. No up. worries. Uh, where was I? How is that any different than what they asked for you in the Order of the Horn? Hmm. He nods. <laughs> we wish to build a society where everyone is equal. Everyone here would have a choice of their profession. They wouldn't have to serve themselves to us a majority of the day. They could actually have time to enjoy their own lives. You see, with the horn, everyone is expected to serve day in and day out. Only give it enough time to, for food and, and for sleep. Here, we believe that while yes, they would be expected to chip in, they are more building their own future build their own society and we could be an actual community not in servitude but more importantly everyone is given a choice if you wish to gain your sustenance with the horn you're free to stay there or you can join us in our order of the memory and have more of a choice of how to live your life as long as it contributes as we try to build our new society Devore frowns, not fully drinking his Kool-Aid. Mm -hmm. Well, oh, what is it you are trying to remember? What the fuck? Mm -hmm. What do you mean? Oh, you mean with the memory? Yes. Our, our kind, the Astari, once a long time ago, before the, before this planet went Nova, we were once a kinder, gentler people. We believed in a, a, a uh, sorry, my, my brain just died for a second. We believed in a sect of power known as the memory. It was a gift that imparted into certain special individuals that continued to grow as our generations spread. We share its words, its power. But more importantly, it is a, a thought 
that gives manifestation into power, both arcane and divine. Some people believe in religious figures, deities. We simply believe in this thought, this memory, this story that we continue to impart upon our people. I must admit it has been a long time since anyone has spoken of the memory, but it gives me great comfort in these trying times. It is an I see. an ideal. We have books and stories of individuals that once kept the memories. I believe we used to have these long ago, but they have since be- they have since been purged. So we write a new book, continuing to impart the memory the best that we can. Hmm. Well, that is what I believe, at least. You, of course, are welcome to stay with us. It would be nice to extend our reaches outside of a story. We wish to welcome all eventually, as long as they're able to contribute in some way. We could then provide them with food, with sustenance. We can provide you with that as well. A stable life. You mentioned that you were writing new books. Can we, like, read one? I'm bored. Mm -hmm. Perhaps in the future, we can, I will be able to give you one of our books that we've been writing. Absolutely. Where's the entertainment? For now. What happens when someone can no longer provide? He thinks to himself and nods. I believe the horn has a sort of brutal order for that. Individuals who've provided a contribution here at our order, we will allow them to retire with dignity, still able to provide food for themselves, sustenance. We will take care of our elderly. We will provide them the restful finish that they so desire. Not the brutal, swift execution that the horn gives. Yes, but what of the ones that are injured and cannot provide? We will tend to them. We will not do what the horn believes in. Everyone has a place here. I see. I apologize, but I don't understand, for you see, we have been on our own in the wastes for a very long time. You may be jaded from living within your walls to not know that this world is suffering, and you are lucky to be given the chance to eat and be shielded and safe every day. Maybe, but I would prefer to make that choice on my own. You don't understand how it is behind the wall, expected to serve day in and day out. Underground here, we are given freedom. I'm sure you've been through a rough journey, a difficult one. But I feel with our order and the order of the memory, we can provide sustenance and f- and freedom. Perhaps you can find relief here. We could use more people of your caliber and strength. Deborah looks to Muck and Vulcan to see what the Mamrats think about any of this, or if they are... Muck's asleep. <laughs> Vulcan, Vulcan wasn't asleep, but recently fell asleep. Okay. That's so, beautiful. <laughs> yeah, at that point, you just see Mock and Vulcan just completely asleep after eating their after eating the food that was offered. At that point, he got he got bored by the the boring lifestyle that he just described to him, mm-hmm. and that should be apparent to you by how you know Mock already. 
No, Vulcan was okay, then he said this is freedom, and Vulcan just blacked out. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Essentially, but, yeah. And that will inspire the question. Mm -hmm. When you have this food and this resource, and you're safe in your caverns, what is it you even do with your free time? What is freedom? I wish to commit myself to study more of my people, of the memory, of what we once believed in before we had to submit ourselves to such a violent lifestyle. I wish to bring back a sense of spiritual order, one that we had lost a long time ago. Others may wish to become artisans or guardians. Everyone will be given a choice as long as they're able to, to, to commit something to our community. It is hard for us to fathom. The Mamoreth seek only glory. The Geth is and is not. And I don't know what else can be. What do you think, my little spud? Well... You know... If they're happy down here, I guess. I mean, like... Well, what... I've been alive for like three weeks and not a single good thing has happened to me except for being in this cave and not dying and also meeting you, Grandma. Uh -huh. But like... It gets repetitive after a while, it seems. And you know, repetition leads to craziness and you, you know... <laughs> You're so used to a lifestyle of running from one source of food to another, trying to ensure your survival. I suppose this could be a little dull for you, but at the very least, you will be able to survive and hopefully find a happiness here. Maybe your Mamorath brethren could become guardians for our order. Ensuring protection from those that wish to do harm. I'm sure if the whole- I- And he, he kind of like smirks a little bit, believing in this. I'm pretty sure once the horn finds that we have a source of food, and that people do not have to serve, breaking their backs day in and day out, they'll probably come for us. We will need our guardians, and I'm sure they will be able to find glory. You see, if the Horn do not have their servants, then their entire society will fall apart. He smirks, believing that he had found the answer. What about you, Elder? What would you like to do if you weren't running from place to place finding your next meal? I'm not entirely sure. Though for transparency's sake, I will let you know we have been invited into those inner walls. But it's all so hard to make sense of when we don't know what truly lies beyond, and know only of your worldview. He frowns. Behind that wall, you will see riches beyond your wildest dreams. Well-built houses. People themselves will seem to be living a, a life of luxury and comfort, or at least that is what the Horn will give you to believe. But there is a lot of sweat and blood that needs to be put into that, to tend to the fields of the ashen trees, to give up half of your harvest for a, a sense of a higher sense of people who believe they are better than you in every way who don't lift a finger, who don't, who don't have to work a day in their life. It'll look nice and it'll look glamorous. And granted, he'll motion around. This is an underground ca cavern, more of a, a hovel. But you will be expected to work. You'll be expected to serve, to give everything to the horn. And when your usefulness is up, they will execute you in front of the people and say that it is a painless death, a suitable end to a glorious life that the horn gave you. 
You're fr you'd be free to submit to their order. But that is no life for me. His frown stays on his face. He seems to be very biased for whatever is behind the wall. Why did you not revolt? Why did you simply leave? Is the power that great? Part of the agreement is that if we serve the Horn, we would be protected by the might of the Memorath and the Minotaur. The people simply do not believe, are, are led to believe that they do not have the strength. However, I feel if you are able to gather everyone to a singular purpose, let's say a new source of food, they would no longer be able to be served. You see, they get their food from the people. Half of it, uh, half of whatever is harvested is given to the order so that they may live their lives of luxuries. But if there is no source of food, they don't get fed. I believe the people can revolt, but they're so used to the lifestyle, keeping their bellies full, but there is no reason to. It is as you say, and what you believe is exactly what we've been told. Outside the wall is a life of, of misery, of suffering. Inside the wall, you're given the comforts you need to live a full life and a painless execution once oh. your service is done. I have a question. Hmm. So you say it's a bunch of like Minotaur and Mamorath that like run the place, right? Mm-hmm. He nods. Um, it just, you know, it doesn't sound like Mamorath and knowing these two. Like, knowing these two, these two would get fed up with just like a living life and being happy. They want to fight shit. They want battle. They want to kill things. I don't... It doesn't sound entirely like Mamorath, but I might be biased from knowing these two for so... Or, you know. He smirks a little bit. The Mamorath that are with you, I must admit, are an unusual sort that I'm not used to. The Mamorath that serve the, the Horn. True, while some of them, abled warriors, wishing for glory, but have been hmm, domesticated to the Horn. However, there are other Mamorath from inside. The ones that are nobility of the Horn. They don't seek that glory. They're fat, slobbering, and they're happy. They don't have no, they don't have honor. Ew, disgusting happiness, gross. Mm. What is honor? <clears throat> At the you sound don't... of that, <laughs> honor? Mock kicks up from his bed. <laughs> ah, I'm sick of this frivolous dichotomy. These cowards in these caves and the lazy ordained rulers above. What of you want, Elder? No. Power over him a little bit. Mm -hmm. Poke him in the chest. <laughs> what about what you want? You're going to die one day. You're going to be part of a system? Or are you going to find your own spirit and take what you want? That is what I do underneath here. I provide people with another option of living so that they can keep their bellies full and do what they they want. Vulcan will pipe up, one eye open. Mm. Rats in a well. Rats in a cage. Or in a jail. Which one is more free? At least you are given a choice. He simply states. I will admit it takes courage to fight up against what you don't believe in. But it is all we can do in this hellscape. <laughs> he name drop, name drop, name drop. <laughs> name drop, name drop. Uh, he'll nod over to you all and simply state, 
I provide a choice for those that wish to continue their survival. I believe if another source of food is offered to the people, they will want to join our order and not be underneath the servitude of the Horn. You are free to join as well. You are given... You are also given an option. But I will not keep you under these caves if you do not wish to be here. As a way of saying thank you, I can provide you with a week's worth of food for each of you. As mentioned, the mushrooms down here are plentiful. But if you do not wish to stay down here, then you are free to leave. But I can provide you a life away from that hellscape. Oh. I don't know about you, brother, but I'm not very good at following. I, me too, brother. I'd rather die on my feet. That is a type of following. Let's not jump to any conclusions. Perhaps we should have a more detailed discussion about this overnight. You're free As to- As you wish, Elder. You're free to discuss whatever you want. Your visitors amongst our enclave. Stay here until you're well rested. If you wish to learn more of, this, of the surface and what's behind the walls, I can guide you into there, into their denizens, but... And he looks over. You mentioned that you have already been invited. Yes. Be warned. Once you cross that gate and enter their walls, they might not give you the freedom to leave as I would give you. Understood. If you wish and are interested, I would be happy to show you our food source and how we're able to produce it so plentiful. Okay, I want to see. Perhaps tomorrow, dear. I think we should rest and we have much to talk about. He okay. nods. He nods. If there is anything else you wish from me, let me know. As mentioned, you are guests of this enclave. If you need a night to discuss it, you are more than welcome to it. You can give me your answer tomorrow. Is there anything you need tending to? He smiles a, a little bit. You are, as mentioned, guests. There is nothing we need from you quite at this moment. Rest no. your... He shakes his head. Rest your feet. Not any armor, weapons, clothing, or maybe a way to make the food better. He tilts his head. You believe there would be a way to make the food taste better? No, Geth will just start taking out all of his tools he has. You know, thieves' tools, tinkerers' tools, cooking utensils, smith tools. <laughs> I can work on plenty of things. Fascinating. Well, if you insist... I'm certain we would appreciate a bit of flavor to our food. Oh, wait, here, a... I got this. Start spamming good berry at first level. <laughs> Just berries begin to multiply and manifest themselves yes. in front of you. Very good. <laughs> I use all my first level slots. He opens his eyes wide. That is an interesting trick. How come, you simply, don't e How come you simply don't eat these berries? Oh, what check would you like they to do? do? They don't hold well. Oh. Can I see if the rocks on these walls have, like, salt? They give me the runs. Uh, yeah, absolutely. They give you the runs. Which Roast. check? Uh, go ahead and make a, uh, you could do, uh, investigation, or you could do, uh, nature. Which one of those is better to me? No, they're both the same. Nature, because it's a rock. Hmm. With a seven, uh, as you investigate the dirt around you, you do not find any salt deposits. Unfortunate. We could always I use salt deposit. <laughs> we could always use clothing or or armor to help protect. If you do wish to offer your services, it would be very thankful. But it is not expected nor required at this time. It seems that you have journeyed quite away. 
perhaps a little bit of hospitality and rest on your feet. I'll, although foreign to you, may be more appreciative. But if you wish to offer your services, I won't reject your goodwill. I must tend to the to the food stocks for now, though. I will return shortly. He will give you a nod before heading south over to where the food deposits are. He is now out of earshot as he goes behind the door. Okay, are all these people out of earshot? They're all just kind of sitting there wondering at that point in time if you're if you're willing to like gather everybody around. Yeah, yeah, hu uh, huddle up group. Vulcan groans and rolls oh, from his okay. bed. Hey, Geth, do you have that, like, little vial still? Vial? The, the dude had the, the green goop that you showed us. You did find a, a wooden vial of green goop oh, from, from the... That. Yeah, you when you uh, looted the Astari who died. Oh, I thought... Oh, that, that small container of the green... I thought that was the, the food he had, or these mushroom stuff. Mm -hmm. That is, that that is what um you could assume but that's uh but yeah that's um i think uh talas is just asking for it what do you need small one i'm like a druid i want to see how it grows on a rock to see if i can grow more of it i thought that's what he said he would show us down there. i know but i just wanted to practice okay maybe i can impress people tomorrow he'll give the little one the thing they want Yes! I'm just gonna be investigating my green goop while we have this convo. Uh, feel free I'll to give me an investigation check and a nature check while you do that. Uh, oh, shit, I'm continue. gonna guidance the first one. That's not, that's not how you do that. 1d34, huh? Cheater! <laughs> Cheater! <laughs> nice roll. 18 and then it was what? It was investigation. Nature. In nature. Oh, dog! I have some things for to tell you, but first, uh, while you're investigating that, uh, Deborah, you may continue. All right, everyone, I have a plan, and I think the Mammal Raft Brothers may like this one. He asks us to choose between the Horn and his memory and his tribe. But I think the more that I ponder on our situation, I think that I have chosen us. Glory is a great thing, and life is fleeting. Watching them hang on to it day by day, like they could somehow live a comfortable life in this hellscape. It's simply impossible. So I suggest one last ride, one Magnificent claim to glory. We're clearly above and beyond the capabilities of those here. And something special, tried and true of us in our travels. A strength no one here has. It will be easy to please those within the wall. Rise the ranks and see this true power they have. The connection to the Black Star. And then we shall take it. <laughs> I couldn't have said it better myself. You always know how to cheer me up, Elder. Oh, I knew you would enjoy this. I care not for their society. Either or. I only want to see what truly lies beyond. What is beyond our comprehension and these simple wastes. And I know that we will be capable nobody expects our possibilities. What do I know about the Black Star as a Kindle? Um, I mean, as a Kindle, the Black Star is essentially a, uh, a phenomenon, a, uh, uh, a astrological phenomenon uh, that is typically manifests itself or created when large, like a, a large cosmic event happens. Uh, within the single pinpoint of a black star, um, all everything and nothing exists at the same time. 
Uh, you could peer into limitless uh, realities. It essentially is a great source of power uh, with not with not much known about it. Uh, the Kindled themselves are specifically a race that was birthed from the Black Star as they blink into existence. Uh, not much is known of the Kindled either, believing that maybe at one point they were a different race that had been manipulated uh, by the Black Star. Hmm. But it's, it's, it's essentially a cosmic event. Um, in Io's history, uh, what was recently discovered, uh, when Div and Void were defeated, um, which were the gods of Io, when they were both destroyed at the same time, uh, a Black Star event was created at that point in time. But that's more above board than character knowledge. Um, the Black Star is both a powerful yet dangerous event. And that's pretty much all that's known about that. Well, we could become everything and nothing at the same time. What a sight that would be. Pardon? That would be incredible, would it not? If you're fine with ceasing to exist. I've existed for so long and seen so much. It would be something new to not exist and exist altogether. Well, in another reality, you don't exist. This is all fine, but we have one last question we need to answer. Should we partner with these people or make a good show of faith for the Horn and deal with them? For one day, when we gain control in the city, we may be able to open those walls and cause enough chaos that we may take control ourselves. Do we need to deal with either? I suggest we simply warn this elder that one day a time will come where we open those doors for him and take back what he despises so much and he will do the work for us. We'll do what he could not. Nodders. I love it. I can't wait to finally live. You must hold your sword for only a short time, I promise. Please be patient. But you are already alive. No. I am not. Okay. But you have flesh. Falcon will reassuringly, like, <laughs> grip his shoulder like, it's okay, man. <laughs> I Run. want to feel the rush of power. We will achieve it one day. One day soon, brother! If that is all, then I will convince this elder that we are on his side. Nodders. I'm Lay your dog. games, elder! We will fight for you and sleep now. <laughs> yeah, then we'll sleep tonight and I'll talk to him tomorrow. Sounds good. God, I love d, &D. I just want to see the stars that Cosma saw. What is a Cosma? Fuck off, Gith. Cosma nuts. <laughs> Cosma nuts. God damn it. Adam. That's awful. Um, all right, you all long rest. God, I love yeah, man, I love DD. That's gonna be fun. Okay. <laughs> Dia makes a mental note of players' objectives. <laughs> all right. Kill them all. I just want to see the stars, dude. That's it. <laughs> Kill them all. Fuck this I, fucked up sky. I love it. I love it. All right. So everyone go ahead uh, in full rest. If what we're about... doing a hard campaign, we're doing a hard campaign, Brad. Dude, dude I'm no. excited. <laughs> I'm excited, man. This Are is you... a hardcore campaign for them. <laughs> yeah. You're stuck here with us. What about Talalis thing? No, dude, Talalis. I'm excited. Oh yeah, what happened for me looking at the stupid moss? Oh yeah, so here's the fun thing that you learn about the nature of tw uh, the ear, specifically your critical uh, twenty nature. So, oh, yes. looking at the mush and continue to investigate, you see the fragments Ooh. of um, of mushrooms. And, and things of uh, and, and things of that nature, but it seems to have a, a very unusual quality to it. 
the mushrooms themselves, uh, while it seems to be have been created by spores, um, the manifestation of spores, it seems to share the same qualities of uh, an egg. <sighs> No, they couldn't be. <laughs> hey. Hey, they wouldn't be. Oh, no. You, further investigation will be required at the source to see if your conclusion is true. Oh, no. All right. After a long rest... A rest that you have not received in quite some time. The elder will once again return. Uh, again, with plates of the food. Uh, did he give us his name? Uh, ever? did anyone ever ask for his name? I don't think we did. Oh, no, no one then cares. He, <laughs> yeah, that he did. That he did. That he definitely. Yeah, because uh, people are calling him elder and they're calling me elder. Mm -hmm. Well, they're well, they're his. They're their elder, <laughs> and you are our trunk man's elder. Yeah. Um, if you uh, if you ask, uh, his name is Olop. Lol. Oh oh Olop. I didn't say lol. I said Olop. I said lol. That's a that's a lame name. We all laugh and snicker at him in silence. No, dude, stop! I thought really hard about that name. Stop it. Yeah, Geth doesn't laugh. He doesn't even know what emotion is. <sighs> Thank you. Uh, Teles does not eat the food and instead puts it in another bottle. <laughs> I hope your discussion last night was fruitful. We have come to understand many things, and I must explain them to you for hopefully one day you may join us on what we have decided. He raises a brow. We intend to enter the city. He frowns. Trust. But one day, when the time is right, we will open the door allow for the flood to come in and for you to take the order away from them he smirks a little bit you only stave off the inevitable you know that they will come for you one day we shall give you that advantage when we open the door advantage of surprise the moment he will look down at you and look back up and say this is a lofty goal you wish to achieve how do you know you'd be capable of overthrowing the horn that power because is mighty somewhere else hmm? because it's happened somewhere else I don't follow in any place, in any reality, something will happen. Anything you can think of has happened or hasn't. You exist now, but you also do not. <laughs> Olaf is really confused. Con yeah, should oh, I yeah, explain? Olaf, Olaf is confused <laughs> at this. stupid Kindle shit again. <laughs> Olaf oh is very God. confused by this statement. And he just says, R right, but. It, yes, the Kindled can see the future what is and what is not we have not the future a reality before we came down here for example we had seen that there would be an attack we were prepared for it our travels through the wastelands have taught us survival strength and a courage that they will not see coming they expect our servitude and we will play that game for a time and I promise you, if those doors opened, they will be softened. He will nod at you and say, You've always had the freedom to choose. And if this is the route that you take and you are somehow successful in opening the gates and weakening their might and their forces, well, 
I think we would be willing to join you on that front. I must admit, starting this order and once we become publicly known to the Horn, I've always been worried of the threat that they would try to wipe us out with no servants underneath them anymore. They may panic as their source of food, the servitude that they force underneath them, gone. They would have to come after us next. But if you think they can, you can break their order, weaken them, well, perhaps action is what is required. This is a lofty goal you present, however. I don't think I dismiss it. Very well. If you are able to do such a thing, the memory stands at your side. She nods. He offers a All hand. All you must do for now is be strong and be ready. We will. Thank you for offering yourself so that you can give us a chance to survive. Oh, before you go, you wanted to see how the, the food was made, yes? Are you okay, little one? Shut the fuck up, Jeff. Why? I'll kick your ass, that's why. <laughs> <laughs> Language. He'll, just, he'll yeah. just tilt his head and say, Why? She's <laughs> so full of spirit! I know <laughs> that we're going to slay the wealthy, but you must mind your tongue. Too much spirit. <laughs> I'm sorry, Grandma. Hmm. Well then, this way. And I can also provide you uh, a few days of sustenance before you leave. A week's worth, possibly. Uh, I, tell I, us. Tell, to... <laughs> what, what did you say? Fuck you, fuck you, Breton. Uh, Teles is gonna talk in her grandma's head and gonna be like, I got a bad feeling about this food. How are you talking in their head, bro? <laughs> yeah, I was like, I was like hold on. What? Okay. Oh, okay. I can just do that. Shrug. Oh yeah, and I can't respond. <laughs> uh, as he walks in, you see a variety of barrels. This is all the food that we have harvested so far. If we could double our supply, we would be willing to invite more into our order. However, I would be curious to see what your elder is able to do. He'll turn it back over to Deborah before we invite any more. We may be able to free them all. He mutters under his breath. Yes. Good. Um, so this is your storage supply, right? That is correct. Oh, where do you actually harvest it from? Hmm. This way. I am happy to show you, but I do advise you to keep your hands away from the source. He'll walk over over to this west door as he opens that up. Keep your torches dimly lit. They react poorly to sun. What about my being? You, I'm sorry? He'll just light himself up. He looks at it. The light itself seems to be that of a, uh, a different source. It says, I'm uncertain, but if it ends up disturbing the source of food here, I would ask you to dim yourself? He questions. Okay. One second. Uh, Vulcan, uh, do you have your torch or are you going to keep it dim? Oh, I mean, I'm assuming we long rested, so that torch is long gone. Okay. I don't know if anyone else was still at torches, so I'm extinguishing individuals who had torches. Very well. This way, please. He will open the door. As he opens the door, uh, you will see uh, what appears to be these wooden containers that are filled uh, with a little bit of water. 
as mushrooms, uh, a, a large amount of mushrooms appear to be um, growing from the walls. And as you walk through, you just see them completely covered it. We found this a long t We found this a year ago. They continue to grow and expand. We've continued to harvest from them, studying from them. They provide us with an excellent food source. Mixed with the water that we tapped from the walls, we're able to expand their food source exponentially. Now allowing us to continue to be fed. Feel free to invest to look around if you wish. But this is where our food source comes from. Can I insight that he's being just like truthful? Like, yes, this is where we found it. Yeah, absolutely. Kind of thing. Okay. Uh with an insight, he is not being deceitful. Mm-hmm. If you wish to investigate the area further, uh, you can roll a nature check at an advantage or okay. an investigation check at advantage. Up to you, Talas. I'll roll nature because it's more druidy and I'll guide and shit. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's another uh, natural 20. Okay, with the guidance, the 21. All right. As you continue to investigate through the walls once again, you had suspicions of the fact that it had egg-like qualities. As you inspect the walls, the mushrooms themselves uh, see appear to be that of yes, they they spread uh, through spores as it continues to um, cover the walls, but they seem to have embryonic-like qualities. Uh, does this cave still keep going on in this direction? Yes, it does. But you would oh, need shit. a light source to continue. I'm here for you, child. Just you dim yourself. What the fuck? As you continue what? to look through the cave with the embryonic like qualities of the mushrooms, you what look the over. Fucking it. You look mm. over at the edge uh, to see that some of the mushrooms over there seem to be pulsating. Ew. Mm. Oh, investigate. Oh yes, the pulsating mushrooms. I'm sorry. Oh, no, nothing. Something from my youth. Um. As you investigate the mushrooms. They begin to pulsate even more. Your 20 nature check. I will allow you to continue for information. As they are slowly. Rupturing. Ew. Uh, I like. Oh, my face is already covered. Okay. Like, what <laughs> happens when they rupture? Does it like? Is it like liquid? Is it spores? Uh, it's a it's a fluidy like liquid. They're bursting. Can Geth also look? Cause he's interested now. Yeah, absolutely. Mm. Mm -mm. They slowly begin to expand. I don't like this. Geth will cast Enhance Ability on himself for intelligence checks. Okay. Fox is cunning. Hmm. Yes. Then do a nature check. Okay. <laughs> Trash. Pog. <laughs> Very pog. As you, as you begin to investigate it a little bit more. Mm, one moment, please. It is at that point you see an arm reach out of the mushroom sacks. What? Oh no, it's what I thought it was. Interesting. <laughs> oh no. It is at this point I need everyone to roll initiative. Yikes. I can, oh fuck. I can actually roll initiative. I believe I can roll initiative for you all. I think that's what you, you did, did last time. time. Oh, yeah, that's right. I can do that. Pog. I'm going to do that now. No. I'm eventually going to have a up there and boom. boom. Uh, I'm right with you. Goodoosh. All right. 
<laughs> One moment, please. I need a battle theme that is spooky. Let me guess, one of the light people comes out of it. <laughs> one of the light people? Hello! Yeah, the, one that, the light eaters. Oh, yeah, no. No. Absolutely no. not. Uh, uh, oh, that could be good. Oh, sorry, one second, please. Don't please, mind. bro. Uno momento, por favor. Uno momento. Uh, dude, nice one. Thank oh, you. Dear really hog. good. Badlands chugs. Yeah, <laughs> let's get it on. Enough talk. Enough talk. Chug in the world. Yeah. Uh, Badland chugs chugs the ocean. My favorite video. Uh, would you guys like to also, before we start this, uh, take a bathroom break? Yes, I was actually gonna go take a bathroom break. Go what ahead. if I don't need to pee? Then don't pee, dude. We're gonna. Yeah. Go what ahead. if I don't need a break? Well, yeah. then go. I don't need a break. Then don't. Th th well, we're gonna take. We're gonna take a couple minutes. So everyone can use. The maybe bathroom. consider. Maybe your DM needs a break, huh? Well, why didn't you just say what that? What if he has to pee? No, Brett why has to see me three times then, a week. Huh? He doesn't get a break. <laughs> me. Yeah, he's he's so gaslighting pissed. us into making us think we need to pee. No, I'm good. But he needs to pee. I do need to pee, True. but I'm. Yeah, I do need to pee, but I can hold it until the end of the battle or until the end of the uh, session. Encounter. The session. Yeah. Just let it go, man. Among Us? The pee? Yeah. But then I'll Among pee my us? pants, dude. That's I mean, why clothes are you tell me you don't have a pee absorbent. bottle? <laughs> you don't wear a battle-ready diaper? One second. If you weren't meant to pee in your underwear, it would be made of, like, aluminum foil. Yeah. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> why aluminum foil? Because the why pee would not? just run down that. That's why cloth is absorbent. That's why your underwear is cloth. Uh, if you were like, I'm wearing some saran wrap, I'd be like, yeah, you probably shouldn't pee in it. I mean, what if you get a sweaty ass, though? Then it absorbs. hear about your sweaty ass. This oh, no, is I'm the... saying, like, what if you wear saran wrap under undies and you get sweaty ass? This is the, uh, well, then th it's this is the conversation. The this is the Just conversation peed. I deserve. All right. This is what you happens when you when take you want. time as a DM. Yeah. Uh, Everyone ooh. just starts talking about cum and then Whoa. no one's brought up cum yet. I'm I'm going back to last time I DM'd. Epic. Oh Epic. well, that's like a you campaign thing. That's yeah, different. I've I've never yeah. had that happen. At least I don't think so. Dang. It's it's an option. Uh, it happens. Not that one. Then. Dude, I'm gonna call this mushroom pile sibling. It's not your sibling because it's gonna try and kill you. I know. It just came out it. of an egg too, though, dude. Kiss it. Okay. Yeah, but we found you. Ooh, this works. All right. Perfect. Okie dokie. It is at this point, this creature ruptures out. Ugh! As its arm extends out, a maw opens in its shroom like form. It appears hostile towards you. Gross. Deborah, what do you do? It is your turn. Uh, I quickly look back to the elder. Olab. Uh, he, yeah, uh, at that point, he's... So, during all of this, uh, he seemed to be focused on this. Now that there is an audible sound, Olab will turn over. And he appears to be just as shocked as you are. What would you like to do? Talking is a free action. Uh, I'll take that reaction. What is this creature? What is going on? I don't... He seems to be taken back. I don't know what that is. That's never happened before. <laughs> that's, I don't, that's a really funny, like, plain way to explain. I've, I've never had... Okay, my food's well, never well, turned into it. Well, I understand. He... I'm just saying I'm removing the social anxiety of killing his food. Yeah. For my, my conscience. Right, right, right. He's just like... 
what's what's happening over there um i'm gonna assume that we have another day's worth of rest here if we want it mm -hmm. so i am going to take no chances walk over here and twin cast my haste on the mamarath bros okay and we're full health right that's yep. right oh, yeah. you're you're long rested i'm about to be dead that's epic. sick <laughs> yeah he about to be dead that's what i call an epic gamer moment one of us is gonna die but can i stand I in, in the shrooms without ruining these you. i'm just trying to get uh, away. you you could like carefully like step around it if you so wish there are a couple of open yeah. spaces um and then a bonus action to scan the enemy uh okay feel free uh, do so, i have a list of things so the enemy itself seems to be simple in nature i will let you know that it goes on an initiative of 10 and it doesn't actually have a lot of traits so i can actually tell you all about it one second need to load my document Yep, oh, that is the wrong uh let's see buh, 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 buh. <sighs> I keep getting my windows mixed up. Don't look at my notes. Uh, let's see here. All right. One second, sorry. Okay, so the creature has 30 hit points, 14 AC, goes on an initiative of 10. Yes, I should have scanned before I hasted. Uh, <laughs> no worries. Uh, it attacks with a spore shot with a plus six attack rate uh, that deals 1d6 plus three poison damage with a range of 60 feet. Damn. Okay, that was my turn. Damn, son, where'd you find that? I think... At the grocery store. Yeah. What's oh. the. Oh. All right, Mock, it's your turn. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty, thirty. You got haze, bro. You. You're Twenty-five. Good. Right here now. I'm actually gonna get right here. Hi. Hi. Hello. Okay. Tell me about the the form of this creature. Is it is it, it a bob? Yeah, it's a uh, small it in nature. Bipedal? It appears to be bipedal. Uh, it looks like a mushroom, so it has like a it ex like a uh, mushroom cap. Uh, its maw is open, sharp with teeth, and a multitude of eyes underneath that mushroom cap. Hmm. Gross. I hate that. Gonna punch it in the face. Okay. Please do. Bonk. Uh, with a 24, you deal five points of damage to it. All right. Bonus action, I'm going to attempt to shove it. With okay. An athletics check. Okay. Uh, 14. Let me go ahead and just real quick. I'm just going to do a, a simple 1d20 check. Uh, with a critical miss, you're able to shove it. All right, I'm going to knock him prone. He's he on the ground. He's knocked prone. All right, for my second of three actions, I will attempt to grapple him with my trunk. Okay. Uh, he will do so. At a disadvantage. Uh, you managed to grapple him with your trunk. Ah, uh, hold still, freak. And then he'll uh, automatically do 1d4. Damn. Damage rolls feels bad. <laughs> At least you're rolling ones on damage rolls and not other. Yeah, things. I guess. And uh, then I will just make another uh, melee attack. Okay. Ooh, uh, good damage. Eleven points of damage. Very good. It's I like can... I'm constantly getting a Windows errors message. What? What? What's going on? That's weird. Oh yeah, I turned that off on on the session zero. In with the, the settings. Music. Oh, in the music? Yeah. What? Dun, 
Dun, oh, uh oh, dun, oh! I, I thought you were talking about like him rolling. Oh, I hear it now. Yeah. You hear it now? Nice, yeah. nice. All yeah. right. Oh god damn it! I can't unhear it now. And, uh, <laughs> oh. I fucking ruined it. Right in this That's campaign. What I do. Yes. That scan checks are now bonus actions only, right? That is correct, but you've learned everything you need to learn about this creature, and it is bonus actions okay. only. All right, well, my turn is over. All right, Vulcan. All right, Yo, Vulcan. Yo, can't strip it. What's going on over there, brother? There's a disgusting little freak. Don't you like killing things? It launched out at our little one. Well, it just came into existence, not launched. I slapped it. Ow. Oh. I crush. Okay. Uh, you crush. Yeah, damn. With a uh, 21 minus five, that hits. I divine smite. Okay. Uh, you deal a total of 18 points of damage. Oh, wait, all right, is it a, hold on. It's grappled, so is that at, at an advantage? No, that's just 18 plus 21 radiant, I think. Well, no. the two plus 16 is assuming that you rolled a critical hit. Yeah, uh, I did. He's, he's, he's prone, right? I grappled. Oh, yeah, he's yeah. Prone, he's... So I got advantage. So yep, it's a crit. there it is. Yeah, so you deal a total of a lot of damage at that point. You deal 21 uh, plus 18. With 40 points of damage, you cut the, the creature in two. As it just lets out one. Sick. And it falls down dead. Jesus. <laughs> yeah. God, the poor thing. <laughs> I wonder if it was friendly. Can we eat it? I wouldn't eat that. The elder. I'll lift it up with my trunk and take a look at it. Initiative is now over at this point. Is this uh, what you've been eating? The elder lo looks over. Stand aside. What is this? He investigates the, uh, the mushrooms, the purple mushrooms specifically. I've never seen anything like this. What... He grabs the mushrooms themselves. They appear to be thick with a a, a sort of like vicus fluid. As it just yeah. tell me so, more. How do I tell you that you've been eating like this thing's eggs, kinda? What? What's he, wrong with that? He turns over to you. Uh, I looked at the goop, and it had like egg, like there were like egg qualities to it. The stuff that you're feeding people. I didn't know which it's was it was rich with nutrition it provided us with sustenance i no it does why it sounds like an egg. why does it matter that it's an egg he looks down because babies so Dude, creatures I was eat an each other you want to eat me he uh i nearly did you, did you. If you didn't hatch, yes. Yes. He True story, was. I never did eat you, but you hatched. There was he... a very long discussion about eating you. Okay, well, Grandma, did you at least stick up for me? Of course I did. Oh, yeah. thanks, Grandma. I love my He's little lying. Tato. I must admit, we don't tend to the back mushrooms too much. We usually keep harvesting the ones that are in the front near the door. We're hardly back here in this area. There's, we were fortunate enough to be bountiful with so much food. It seems as if we leave them unattended for a while. Hmm. Well, well, we might have just destroyed your food source. And I'll toss the corpse to the ground. Not necessarily. Well. Not necessarily. We will simply purge of these discolored mushrooms. And but make sure... Wait. To ensure no, our my brother's saying this thing might be laying the eggs, and we killed it. He looks at it. No, it came out of the purple. But why destroy it? We, we don't even know if it's hostile. Well, we simply just destroyed the discolored mushrooms. 
continue harvesting, continuing a a back supply. But All why we have not to do is cultivate them. Well, that's what I'm saying. All we need to do is harvest them before they grow into these creatures. It oh, is... you misunderstand my point. Mm hmm. He'll look over to you. What if you could make them pets? He raises an eyebrow. I mean, I'm not gonna lie, I was kinda gonna ask you if I could take some so I could maybe grow a baby. Just like our child is somewhat of a pet. How That's right! I'm gonna look at death like, what the fuck? What purpose would that serve? Uh, Vulcan, yeah. uh, since you cleaved, uh, sorry to interrupt real quick, I just want to let you know, Vulcan, no uh, you uh, you actually see uh, through the purple mushrooms a small tunnel as if the cave has opened up. Look at that! Mm -hmm. uh, Geth, you may continue. Uh -huh. Well, you could use them as workforce, maybe laborers depending on their intelligence and their docile. This. Well, that's how the little bastard got in. Geth turns over to Vulcan. Look! Oh! The Elder sees the, the hole at that point. I suppose investigating would be good. This might not, this might not even affect the entire mushroom source. I we bet there's a queen. Little one! Then he'll put a finger up. Come here. Would you fit in that hole? Perhaps Just blinks. Perhaps guess you could look into a certain reality on this situation. But why? And to understand our circumstances better. Hmm. I understand enough. There are creatures. What is it you'd want to know? Where the tunnel leads. If they can be docile. I cannot predict where things are, only something that will happen based on predetermined judgments. I do not find locations, only answers. Okay, so I just thought of something kind of fucked up that I need to ask you, Brett. Yes. Um... Because I'm a druid, mm -hmm. do I turn into, like, regular animals here? Because I don't know if the hellscape has, like, normal animals or not. <laughs> um, so, there would- it would be altered versions of specific animals. Okay, um, I just the, wanted to know. Uh, the only thing that you have seen is a cattle plot- uh, cattle blast, Which essentially is a stinky undead horse. Or undead okay. camel is the way that you look nice. at it. Nice! Mm -hmm. Well, um, at this point, uh, for this session, I would say you are unable to transform uh, into it. Uh, but next session, I can have a stat block for you ready to go. Nice. I just wanted to know. So if I could like turn into something small and go down the hole, but I can probably already fit in the hole as it is. Uh, you, if investigating the hole, uh, everyone is able to fit through the hole if they so desire. But ultimately, it is up to you. Oh, it's a big hole? Do we it's go a, in the hole or do we go to Horny Town? It's a big enough hole to crawl through. I, I, excuse me, what, dear? It's the town, the horn. Oh, uh, I, I see. It's Horny Town. We have a day to kill, don't we? That's true. While I'm still hasted, I go! I'm back. Oh, okay, I think no. we're going. What did I make? What did I wait? <laughs> hey, you I made miss? anything, dude. You're loner. Bye. Maybe it was the bathroom when everyone else did like 10 minutes ago. No, but I had to go get something from the door. Um, yeah, I don't, I'm not buying it. Yeah, nice you, story. you see Vulcan just charge through the tunnel, getting on all four knees. It just starts crawling rapidly through there. All right. Dude, I have four knees. What the fuck? All right, you know, well, with your with your elbow knees, you're... that's, that's cryptid. Shit. <laughs> uh, as you crawl through like an elephant, uh, it becomes dark. <laughs> hey, let's go, everyone. Let's go. <laughs> okay. okay. Give this man light. Is is every is everyone going through? 
Yeah, fuck uh, it. All right. Oh, we is using my body. I'll be the caboose. That's all you're good for, guess. Lantern, come! Can I look at the qual? like, do a nature check on this thing first? Uh, yeah, what would you like to learn? I would like to learn... Basically, well... Hmm, how do I word this? I guess I would just want to know more about its its kind. Mm -hmm. And maybe if... Well, I guess there would be no way to know how much it grows from it just being hatched, right? Mm, yeah. Um, if you'd like to roll a nature check and ask a question, you're free to do so. But with it, but with it, without first. it, without it being alive, if you want to know, like, you know, it's either it's like sense of purpose or anything like that, that would yeah, maybe it's like its intelligence levels, if that's possible. Uh, with a dead, you wouldn't be able to find that out, unfortunately. All right, I guess I got since all you dead, saw yeah. was, yeah, all you saw was screech and then cleave. It cleaves. Oh, really I guess good. I could learn the nature of its poison. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Uh, while you go ahead and roll that, uh, I thought I could hold uh, and not pee, but hey, I have to pee, so I'll be right back. There he goes. Uh, there you go. I'll be right back. There he I'm gonna goes. lay on my floor. There he there goes. He goes. Yeah. Again. Yeah. Through my heart. Do you guys know when we played Poker Week in here last week? Yeah. I'm yeah. not gonna lie, I may or may not have gone through every Discord I'm in trying to find another server that had Poker Night because I got addicted to gambling from None it. None of them have it. Nobody has Amba. it. It's only this server. It's only like this server and like one other that I can't invite I people to. Why. I just want to play Poker Night. You just want a gamba. I just want to fucking play Poker Night, and it's like just this yeah. server. Ah. I'm so mad. Don't be mad. Be glad. My god, I don't even have any games. Loser. <laughs> what the hell? Like, no, nobody has it. It's just this Discord. Let's I'm so mad. <laughs> but I screwed! Discords. <laughs> I don't think mine has it. Nope. Well, now I have to check mine out of principle, even though I already think I did. But um. But um. Nope. I want some handy helper. Oh, I just had some handy helper. That was really good. I want handy helper now. What was the deal with the soccer game the other day? <laughs> soccer, soccer am I right? Anyway, sorry about that. Hey, um Oh sorry, football. Football. Um, I'm back. Uh, my, I don't know what to talk about. WB. My apologies. Come I, on, England! I thought Pull some fucking goals! Uh Brett, <laughs> if you randomly see us in here playing poker night one of these days, it's because your server's the only fucking Discord server in existence with poker night apparently. I can have friends because of the server? Pog, dude. I'm so excited. It's, usually, it's the only one that works. has poker night. I'm so oh, mad. I'm so happy. All right. So you go through the hole and end up through the other side. What about my nature check? Oh, yeah. Uh, what did you want to know? The qualities of the poison, um, what it affects and whatnot. The poison itself just seems to be like a stinging raw damage. It actually doesn't have a, it doesn't have like any sort of like altering effects to your body. Yeah, it, it, it's just, it, it's more of a physical, physically damaged attack, almost like a, an acid. Oh, okay. Cause I'm trying to make sure we don't get like hit by one of these guys and all of a sudden we have a poison that is debilitating us for the rest of our lives. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Like we got bit by a brown recluse. Um, I will I tell you, Actually, I am happy to give you... I did it again. Stop looking at my notes. Don't look at my notes, chat. I looking keep Looking at the notes? <laughs> I'm wow. Looking, I'm I guess I know how this is all going to end now. Don't look. Don't look. All right. It's too late. How many monitors do you have? I have three, but I'm getting used to, like, actually having three monitors, so I'm still loading the wrong fucking window and showing chat all of my notes for what's happening in the future. Mm. Yeah. 
Fuck me, right? Uh, anyways, here uh, is the injury table of these fungus creatures if they ever critically hit you. Owie. So, uh, their poison can inflict a dire injury. Uh, a poisonous spores, which just poison you forever until it is healed. A major injury. Um, the, hey. it, it can blind you. It can give you a whooping cough. It can irritate your skin. Or, if you're lucky, uh, may actually be able to heal you back to full health. An injury whooping that is good cough. for you. Whooping cough. Whooping cough. Inspired by my uh, nasal allergies that I'm suffering through uh, currently in the summer. Suffer. Yeah, oh. I hate summer too, dude. Oh, oh. Looks down. Uh, as you continue to investigate, uh, the mushrooms continue to spread through this tunnel. The elder will also follow you along. What would you like to do? What the fuck is that? Um, I I'm following my Mamorath. We travel. <laughs> and I cast resistance on myself. I'm gonna light a torch. <laughs> yeah, right. I'm gonna hit... Does roll 20 track AC if I cast something like Mage Armor? Actually, I don't cast resistance on myself. Uh, it does not, but that's okay, because you just tell me what your AC is at that point. Okay, just checking. Oh yeah, um, like like if you're dealing with like macros that tell you what the ACs are, et cetera, et cetera. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'm yeah. gonna panic Chalice form because Chalice form lasts for ten minutes. Okay. Hey, how long do we have left on uh this? Uh, haste is a minute. Oh, it's a minute. So like, as you continue to explore, the haste would immediately just drop. Okay. Yeah. Well, enhance ability lasts for an hour. I feel great. Oh, oh okay. I'm okay oh. again. Yeah, oh. then you would, you would literally you would literally suffer for a uh, a round a wave of sluggish. lethargy. As you continue, I, I pinch my temple for six seconds. Are Let's you see. all right, dear? Would you like some more mushroom? No. As you walk in, this cave is massive. I need Hang you on. all to stop at this point in time. I will simply do this because you are going to be entering into a high stress scenario. Yeah, the queen's lair. <laughs> yeah, I told you. One moment. Dude, if we'd have just left, these people would have actually just got fucking owned. True. We would have came back and they would have been For the dead. second time. Because if we didn't come that light guy would have killed them sometimes oh. coming saves the world yeah i, Thanks, Ugh, I was kind of assuming we were uh <laughs> we were gonna rest at some point we did rest yeah so if we could by chance not alert the super god queen rest and then do this wait i thought we already did rest i can't twin so i can't double haste twice a day oh that's what you meant yeah well, Haste maybe you should have told your elephant that apparently only listens to you not to just go into the hole straight away and then go, yeah, let's go help him. A voice nah, echoes. I, I like doing things. A voice echoes through the cavern. Who intrudes upon my domain? It is at this point, from the ceiling, you can see all of these fungus and mushrooms cover a huge sack of mushrooms just sort of like slowly lower down by this this visceral vein of fungus substance almost like a fluid or a liquid as you see the mush a pile is pile of mushrooms a maw opens as you see a humanoid figure peek through Eyes peering down over in your direction. Brave mind, Pog. It asks. Can we so, move? Um, <clears throat> you are currently in high stress, so you are. I will allow you to move curr uh, currently if you'd like to move around. I will take one step forward. That were that's fine. A hideous beast. 
What are you? <laughs> it's I staring. love us. It peers out of the maw, staring in your direction. I am the mother of the children that you see around you. <gasps> I have felt the pain of my children leaving their nest forcefully. I have been devouring the cavernous walls to arrive at those who would intrude upon my domain. Why have you come? To see the truth. The truth is now before you. Do you wish to harvest me as well? No. What is everyone else's response? The elder remains quiet. I was an egg, so I just kind of vibed with my egg kin. That was really it. Mock is kind of just like squinty eyes at this big thing. He's very confused because he's never seen anything like it. Uh, yes. Vulcan will say under his breath, but loud enough Mock to hear. Fuck around and find out. <laughs> I do How love mushrooms though. I'm a druid. Mushrooms are cool. It's a lot to take in. <laughs> it could be an ally. Do I notice any more of those small ones I saw anywhere with my passive perception? Uh, you do not, but the mushrooms, uh, all the mushrooms in the cavern shift around um, as the creature continues to speak. You can assume that it senses everything through the mushrooms and is aware of its surroundings while within this room. Just making sure we're not getting surprised, attacked, or flanked or anything, you know. Fair. Uh, nothing appears to be coming towards you at this time. How long have you existed? We have existed here for an unknown amount of time. So have we. But it has been longer since these intruders step upon our domain. It then, with a viney stalk, points over to the elder. Your presence is familiar to me. Are you the one who has intruded upon our land? The elder remains quiet, stepping forward and stating. I was unaware that you, there were citizens here, that there were another civilization. We only did what we had to survive. And he brandishes his blade. Perhaps we can come to some sort of agreement. The creature hisses. There will be no agreements for you, murderer. You will leave our lands undisrupted and return back from whence you came. Coward! Mock will point out at the big beast. Uh, hold your tongue a moment. Oh, lab, please. You're angering it. Leave the room now while you can. Olab looks over at you. You're in great danger. Are you certain you want me to leave the room? What if this creature attacks? What if it tries to eat you? He seems quite open and honest with us, those who have not crossed it. Olab looks over. And sighs. Walking over to you, whispering. I will leave for but a moment. But we need the food source. Otherwise, our society will crumble. Please. understanding. Please see if 
the creature may be able to offer at least some of its brood, it says, uh, he says, confused. We need this to survive, even if we can form some sort of temporary alliance with the creature. Nodders. He will then walk out of the room. Uh, as he attempts to step out, you will hear the shifting of mushrooms begin to close in as it blocks his way out. The creature, well. the creature chuckles a little bit under its breath. There is no retreat for this one. It has caused a great genocide to my people. That's the only thing May it you. says. Guess May you we'll help us. This. May you help us understand what it is that you want. I understand this man has hurt your children, but beyond that. Sorry. He has sorry. protected you. Explain. With that weak little guard you had guarding this place, who knows who'd have came in here and completely wiped out your existence. What do you mean? They've nurtured you and guarded you down here in this disgusting hole. You should be thanking him. You make claims of your land, but you dug into his land. Did you not? I have been here long since they have arrived within my halls. You Did speak you... as if I had a god. That was merely an infant of me. You have murdered my child. And I'd do it again if they lash out me with me with their disgusting little arms. Disgusting, <laughs> violent creatures. What is your name? Uh... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm, using I'm using mold earth to like kill the earth over here. <laughs> Dude, I love Shofo's ability to read the room so much. <laughs> <laughs> it states, I have no need for names. I am the ruler of this place. And you intrude upon my land, ripping away the eggs that I have created. My very own denizens, my children. Your animals, murderers, all of you. And I do a, not murder. And a price must be paid. Before you pay a price, did you also bear witness to the Black Star? <laughs> it, it doesn't even acknowledge you at this point in time. Damn it. I have no <sighs> knowledge of what you speak of. Unfortunate. Oh, oh, has I has no knowledge of anything outside this room. All I know is that there are individuals intruders upon my domain and this I... one stinks the most again pointing over to the elder there must be some form of agreement that can be reached here I what can you leave if you want aspire your <laughs> children to become what has he taken from you let us truly understand your existence which we are completely ignorant of <laughs> it is true. Your people are most ignorant of what you don't understand. I am willing to forgive you interlopers. But a price must be paid 
for murdering countless denizens of my kingdom. I seek the life of all those that have intruded upon my lands, and a promise that you will not step foot here again. Starting with that one. Kill him, and prove to me you wish to right what has been wrong here. Oh! You mean this one? He's gonna walk towards this mushroom and <laughs> step on it. Uh, there, I killed it for you! Uh, oh, you meant that. this one! I, oh god. He's like to pacing say, back well, and forth and shooting well, angrily under his breath. <laughs> while they were doing this, I was using mold earth and I was just like making like a little spot in the ground and then I was I was planting the green goop that we had from before and I was using druid craft to like make the ground like all nice and like inviting looking and then these fuckers are over here stepping on mushrooms um as you try this to, guy as you try to tend into the corpse goo of this individual's children meanwhile Vulcan mm. continues to laugh and stomp others calling them a coward maybe you meant this one <laughs> And as you continue to stomp... Vulcan, please, I asked you to be patient with me a little while longer. This creature knows nothing. You cannot negotiate with ignorance. But I am ignorant. ignorant of it. As you try to explain it, and as Vulcan continues to stomp, a loud yell just echoes through the chamber. You have come here only to insult the ruler of this land. Filthy insects, interlopers, you will perish here, and my children will feed on your corpses for infinity. This one is not an insect. Huggers! Um, <laughs> so, it is at this point... I'm going to invoke my giant might. Yep, it is at this point. The fight will begin. Uh, you are permitted to uh, invoke and start immediately the fight with a giant might. Um, but the creature itself has become hostile uh, to the remainder of the party. You may attempt to continue your negotiations, but it will be done through the uh, rounds of combat. But we will see uh, how... Uh, this fight turns out, as this is a rather uh, dangerous and large size, size scale fight, uh, we will do that uh, on the next session. Uh, so we will wrap up things uh, today. Uh, but that uh, wraps up today's session of uh, the Nova Hellscape. So Wicked. Thank you guys nice. very, very much. Did you guys have fun today? Did you all enjoy yourself? Yeah. 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 Yes. Excellent. Yes. I, uh, I'm very excited, and also now that I know more of what you guys intend to do as a party, uh, it'll be fun to see how that story goes along without taking any sides and forging your own destiny. That's going to be pretty This is awesome. a good group. <laughs> I, I, yeah, you guys are great. This is a, this has been an absolutely uh, fun time so far. I've really been enjoying this group. Um, next session, uh, it's going to be a... It, it looks like it's going to be a, a boss battle session. So the entire session will be uh, one large combat. So I'm very excited for next week. That's uh, what you think. <laughs> I tend to just want to exist. Well, you'll so have this to... thing's size? Uh, it is considered huge. Yeah, good luck yeah. grappling that bitch. And, and it's going... uh, no, I could, I can grapple him. Um, it's no, also you're bigger now. Yeah, it's also going to be. Um, yeah, it's going to be considered uh, one of my. Uh, it's going to be considered the first actual boss battle of the Nova Hellscape. So more than likely, uh, next session first will be actual. The first actual like act, like boss fight of the Hellscape, like an actual boss battle. Oh, so, so more than likely, will be dead is what you're going to say. Perhaps there, perhaps is, not. There, I because this is a brutal, um, because this is a brutal campaign. Uh, there are definitely some mechanics this creature has that, if you do not scan 
or study correctly or handle correctly uh, could possibly kill you. Absolutely, 100%. So, um, also, I would like oh. to let I would like to let you guys know before the next battle that I will be re-rolling uh, everybody's hit points because I have uh, everybody's what hit points HP. Uh oh. And that is because I have recently decided for all of the campaigns, instead of rolling for hit points, uh, everyone has max hit points. So whatever ma possible maximum, Damn. yeah, whatever possible maximum maximum hit points you have, that is your HP. You no longer have to roll for Log. it. You always Wait get the minute. max roll. Wait a minute. Hmm. <laughs> I had a bad thought. <laughs> okay. <laughs> E epic, <laughs> uh, but guys, nice. yeah, I'm uh, I'm glad you guys uh, had fun. Like I said, this was absolute delight, and I'm looking forward. I'm looking forward to next sessions because I uh, I love combat. I love combat, dudes. So it should be a it should be a very fun time, and also it's going to be a brutal uh, combat. So that's the first time I get to experiment with that, and that should be a lot of fun. Um, Just uh, only summer. <laughs> you got it, champ. I've got uh, I've got <laughs> I've got I've got sure for asking me to kill Summer. I've got Chat asking me to kill Stir and Sure for. I, I just what don't know who. Does. You have me asking you to kill me. <laughs> yeah, I have Summer asking, and I just I feel at that point. Why do like, they want me dead? I don't know, dude. Did you wrong them in some way? I have no <sighs> idea. Yo, we got a. He's winning an RP. That's why. Mm. True. He's got the most RP points. Uh, we've got, <coughs> excuse me, uh, we've got quite a bit of, uh, fan art to show, so I'm gonna go ahead and load everyone's fan Whoa. art right now, so thank you so much. I'm gonna restrain this big plant guy until Grandma can give him a lesson. Let's, um, I don't know, light him on fire. I'm just gonna pin him down and let Grandma talk at him. <laughs> Oh, I want him to be the guy who helps us destroy the city instead of this other chump. Like, wouldn't oh, it be way God. cooler if we had a mushroom army? <laughs> and a grave mind helping us? Yeah, like, we just offer him the city and be like, hey, when you come in here, there's you're plenty such of food, a fucking, you can grow like, wherever you want. You're, such a, cool. you're just a slut for whichever person you think is going to help <laughs> us get the city. Like, it was, the, it was the other guys, then it was these guys, then it was the grave mind. I don't like how this guy's so, like, he's like, this is my place, but he didn't even know that the guys were living like 20 feet away from him. Yeah, and he doesn't even have a name. Kind of, how, do you, how are you well, a ruler knew. if you that's don't have a he name? Just started he started digging. Why didn't he do anything? What a loser. No, He's that's a loser. why he was digging over. He's a loser, dude. He's a loser. <laughs> Absolutely a loser. <laughs> My thing is, if he's in a hole, how is he getting sustenance? And shit? Stop bullying me! That's really rude. <laughs> I mean, he, he, he must Why be eating. You? He must be eating the mushrooms. Exactly. One room kingdom, Omega lol. <laughs> One room kingdom, and he probably eats his subjects to stay alive. Yeah. How fucking dare you? He's just a fucking loser. I can't, I can't believe you've done this. I can't believe you've done this. Can't believe you've done this. We'll see how this. much of a loser he is when he fucking kills one of us. <laughs> Even if he kills me, he's a loser. He I seemed mean, like a nice guy. I mean, he's like yeah. stuck inside of the mushroom. He's like a he, person. Something no, he was like, like really. He was like, kill that guy. <laughs> grandma, grandma told me we need the other guy. So when I realized the other guy was trapped, I started to fight. And then grandma's like, why'd you do that? I wanted to decide with the grave mine now. <laughs> grandma has flexible plans. Yeah, grandma just wants glory. Mm, I, mean, my bad. I mean, grandma wants I to take the knife. fucking city yeah. to get a black star. There's probably a fucking black star in this cave. The black star probably the fucking affected this guy, man. No, there's not a black star in the fucking mushroom. <laughs> not in the mushroom, in the okay, cave. In the cave. No, you kill. You kill. You, 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 you got a fucking black star in the mushroom game. You, you kill. You no, kill no. the mushroom queen. A black star appears. You're like poggers, dude. <laughs> there it is. That guy, poggers, 100 got affected by the black star, just like the light. Eater. Yeah. When we get Why the city, I'm gonna, the game, huh? I'm gonna look in every barrel in the city and be like, oh, black star in here. <laughs> Yo, black star? Any black, black star? star? It's, it's gonna be like Morrowind instead of spoons. Black it's just black stars over there. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's completely missing the point. <laughs> um, all right. Uh, Are we? As as yes. we see here, we've got <laughs> we've got lovely to last fan art. Uh, moving uh, over more to last fan art. Does indeed have a knife. And there it is, knife. 
Uh, lovely little group shot over here. My favorite part of the fan art so far is, you know, is the, hey, what does Geth look like? You know, just a <laughs> bunch of like, hey, what is, what's <laughs> Geth's art? And there actually is some really good one. Um, <laughs> Talas, uh, meth, please. I have to make uh, meth a thing in IO now. Thank you yes, again. Yes, you do. Thank you again, Summer. Really do appreciate you just. <sighs> I you can make meth more. whatever you want meth to be, but all she she just thinks that meth is food right now. This is wholesome as fuck right oh, over that's here. That's awesome. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Helping Granny cross the street. <laughs> I uh, I also like this one. Number one, <laughs> Grandma. Grandma. <laughs> Hell yeah. I told oh, this to her uh, before stream, but my I, so my grandmother lives with me right now, and she heard mm -hmm. me screaming "Grandma" at Sir last week, and she was very <laughs> confused. Yes. <laughs> Why are you calling for me, dear? Yes, yeah, sweetie. I don't know what your grandma sounds like. That's just my typical oh my grandma God. voice. <laughs> yes, Summer. <laughs> grandma loves you. Um, uh, this is our uh resident artist, um, oh. Bearbot. Uh, has, has, has returned. Uh, animated GIF of uh, Talas. Yes. Mm. Purple Very. baby. We've got Talas potato over here. Potato. Yes. Um, Child. So I was really excited to show this because I love Barabot's version of Geth, which is just like this overcoat and this like uh, this yeah. um, artificer like shoulder pads and like the uh, where your Flames lightning cannon comes out. Yeah, I absolutely love nice. this version. Yes. My grandma got a heart tattoo. I also yeah, love I gotta get a whole tattoo sleeve because they heart as fuck. Sandals. <laughs> yeah, I also I also love that he draws. Make uh, her wear socks. Yeah, he draw he draws uh, uh, Deborah with a a lovely heart over there. It's really freaking good. Mmm, sausages. Nom, 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 nom. <laughs> so Give me your fingies. What the hell? Yeah, just look. I, I love this. This is so cool. I just love this style uh, for Geth. Just me as a person. Personally. It's always I, nice seeing different renditions. Yeah, it's really fucking cool. Um, but I also like, I just love this over here. Oh, it's so cute. Very well I got done. a little heart in the middle. Mm-hmm. I like that as well. And there it is, Grandma with Potato, right over there. <laughs> That's my grandma. I'm Lion Kinging you. I will shall oh. take this child and raise it as my own. Simba. <laughs> Lovely little uh, rendition over there. And uh, <laughs> there, there, there you go, nice little mushroom monster. <laughs> so. Shriek. Uh Thank you, everyone, for the fan art. Uh, oh, God, I got mixed up. Uh, appreciate very much. Uh, we will be back. Uh, next Monday with Nova Hellscape Session 3 and uh, whoops in summer I will see you tomorrow uh, for your next season Woo! with your All King party Woo! With Woo! Sachi's gonna slap my ass Woo! Calamity Sachi <laughs> uh, Main frame of Atlas aka uh, Io's first uh, quote unquote raid campaign it's gonna be one giant dungeon it should be a lot of fun. I'm, you come I'm, as gods. I'm super. I'm super looking forward to it. So thank you again, guys. I will see you all the next time. Have yourself a lovely time. Thank you, Mr. Brett. Enjoy your. Uh, you. Enjoy your poker. A poker. 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 Yep. Thanks for running. All right. Have I a good one, game. guys. Okay. All right, everyone. Hello. How did you all enjoy it? As the viewers, did you guys have a good time? Good session. I got to get my monitors freaking readjusted, dude. Don't look at my notes, please. I really do appreciate it if you just not. Probably will, but that's okay. Now, fortunately, I have to now I have to change the entire encounter, so I'll just make it more difficult. <laughs> Great session. Love the notes. No, dude, don't say that, dude. Please don't say that. Would really appreciate it if you weren't doing that dude but yeah it was a fun time uh really love this crew uh it's a it's a it's it's different you know i didn't know exactly how uh hellscape was gonna go because of it being a decent lamp yet there's so much rp going on and i fucking love it i absolutely love it mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. every time chat sees the notes uh add 100 hp to the boss uh it is about two or three pages of notes so I'm very, I'm very excited for it.
but I'll probably share them eventually. So, but it should be good. I love the next session. We've already seen it. I, I, you need to organize your notes more. Otherwise it is good. Shut the, shut the hell up chat. Okay. It doesn't matter how you read them. It's what I read them. Okay. Okay, guys. Ugh. Ugh. Son of a bitch. Uh, all righty then. With that. Uh, yo. Hi, everyone. I uh, want to let you know we have a Patreon. Head on over to our Patreon if you'd like to support. You can donate as little as $3 a month. We have a $5 tier, which is all the MP3s of the D&D sessions of IO that we do. A $10 tier where weekly I post maps uh, that I've, I've made and things of that nature. I'm going to be posting some more maps tonight I'd like to. Uh, specifically, I'd like to post the uh, map of... Uh, the Altered City of Atlas, uh, our $20 tier, which is Game Master Notes. And uh, yeah, and then we have a uh, higher tiers where I can actually build encounters and magic items for your own games. Uh, consider supporting today. And thank you to everyone who has supported the Patreon. Like I said, it allows me to make IO a primary focus, a primary financial focus as well. And uh, I appreciate everyone that has offered uh, as little or as much support as they can towards that. Thank you to everyone there. Uh, also want to give shout outs to our big sponsors, including Why Not Gemology, Baker Staunch, Slobar Panda, Twitching Pickles, Starter Pack, Last Note, Eagle Wolf, Germs B, Wiry Traveler, and Con Air on DVD. Appreciate you guys very much and all the support that you've given. Big bless ups to you guys. I really do appreciate that. Um... If this is your first time to an IO campaign, welcome. We're glad to have you here. You can watch us over on the YouTube channel where everything gets uploaded there. Uh, you can check out all the other campaigns as well. It's a good time. We're almost 10,000 subscribers, so consider heading on over there, dropping a sub, and and checking checking stuff out there. I really do appreciate that. You can also follow me on Twitter.com slash Brett Oldsmith for just general musings a lot of the times uh, uh, as at that point um of things of that nature uh feel free to also subscribe over to our youtube channel uh where i have a bunch of beautiful raccoon uh emotes uh our latest emote brett to howdy um also if you're a DD watcher we've got brett to 20 and brett to one uh, which is a great, uh, some great roles that you can do for other D&D sessions that you may be able to watch as well. Uh, let me go ahead and take a moment to thank everyone who has subscribed today. Chaos King, thank you for the tier one sub for six months. Baker Staunch, thank you for gifting a sub to stream elements, question mark. Well, I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Uh, Belina Ela, thank you so much uh, for the prime sub. Uh, Zidmaster24, thank you for the two gifted subs. Uh, Lady, De uh, Lady Demon Penguin, thank you for the tier one sub for five months. Baker Staunch, thank you for the five gifted subs. If you got gifted a sub by Baker Staunch, be sure to thank them in chat. Awesome Cake 8, thank you for the, the tier one sub. And welcome to the Rack Pack, yo. Uh, yeah, consider dropping a sub. Greatly appreciate everyone who has either Either supported on the patreon or supported uh over there like i said uh your subscriptions and your patreon support allows me to do this for a living uh without having to worry about doing other things i also want to let you guys know uh, since as a little end treat for you all wiggles eyebrows i have merch coming up and would love to show you that merch. Would you guys like to see the merch that I've got worked on? I think it's something you're really going to fucking enjoy. Yep, yep, yep. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, let me see if I can just do this. What? And it's not just Bread Ultimate's merch. So, yo, check it. So there was a lot of things that I wanted to do if I was ever to open a merch line. Uh, one of the key things is, while it would be cool to do either Brett Ultimus themed merch or IO themed merch, that would be a cool thing to support. However, I wanted to uh, essentially create some merch that not only was Brett Ultimus themed, was not only D&D themed, but was something that you could universally enjoy and wear out about um, in your day-to-day -day life. And that is where I am going to have uh raccoon D, D themed merch we got all the art done for it and now i am excited to get this made soon so uh the first thing i will show is the what is this but yeah there we go so we're going to have t-shirt pins and prints 
Uh, we'll be selling a bundle either every month or bi-monthly, and they're all themed around a specific class. So the first bundle that will be introduced, hopefully in September, fingers crossed, got to see when everything gets made, uh, but will be the fighter. So we are going to have uh, fighter uh, raccoon fighter pins. Uh, we are going to have a raccoon one second uh nope that's not what i meant to do a raccoon shirt which is going to have the D, D fighter raccoon probably with this nice little maroon color in the back and this lovely commemorative print art um that you can all get all for a bundle ba -ba 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 -ba. Uh, really detailed. This is the one I haven't actually had a chance to show yet. Oh, I guess the JPEG. Boom. The print, which is going to be this D&D &D Raccoon Fighter. Uh, each print is going to have a, a different die set themed around the individual up on the print itself. Um, the shirt, I believe, is going to be... Tw it, it, this is going to be... Uh, the shirt's going to be $25. Pin's going to be $10, and the print is going to be $10, but if you buy it all as a bundle, it's all going to be $40. So look forward to that, guys, because all that is coming. What do you guys think? I'm very excited for this series of stuff that we're going to be doing. And then every month or every buy uh, month, uh, every other month, uh, will be a different class. So Fighter's going to be the first introductory month, and either next month or the month after uh, is going to be Wizard. And I'm already getting to work on that. But if you have a favorite D&D class, I'm going to be, hopefully, fingers crossed if this goes well, releasing all of it. I, uh, my heart is calling out for a Rogue set. Rogue's going to probably be the third in the series, and then Cleric after that. I want to get, like, the real big, just baseline classes done. You know what I mean? Uh, so, I am super excited for that. But, uh, yeah, so look forward to that. That is what's coming up. Uh, thank you to everyone for watching. I'll be back tomorrow at 4 p.m. EST with the uh, Radiance's next season, the mainframe of Atlas. That'll be at 4 p.m. EST. If you've been watching All King or Under IO or Radiance, it's going to be that same crew. Uh, it'll probably be about a six-session campaign, uh, big dungeon raid themed, and should be a lot of fun. Thank you everyone who subscribed, everyone who supported, everyone who's watched. I appreciate you all very much. Thank you for hanging out. And I will see you all the next time. Bye-bye. Uh,